Hello. Hello. Oh my God! Look at those houses. Yeah, oh, pretty beautiful I houses. Know, I know why. It's because it's green. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> like, why is the river? Uh, oh, the why river is the again. River back, and I was like, why is the river back? Like, I checked the, the scene so much to be like, there's no fucking river. <laughs> also, I don't, I don't, it's green. I, <laughs> I don't know why this is happening, but look at Tarquin's hair. Especially after too. seeing the map. Ooh. <laughs> When Tarquin isn't I'm speaking, bawling. it goes through his it goes through his <laughs> hair. No, not your beautiful silver hair. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's a real silver. I'm what are we gonna pay the witches artist. with? <laughs> I'm a professional <laughs> artist. I'm good at remembering green screens will affect anything that's green, and that transparent images exist. Hello, everyone. <laughs> that wasn't coming. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much already for the level eight hype train. Oh, oh my god. God. <laughs> Maka Maka, I'm reading you. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing inside his head. <laughs> oh, well, we know that's not true. Oh, not we know there's head. not memories. Hmm? Maybe oh. some hidden... Oh. Some <laughs> memories uh, in there. It's full of mystery. <laughs> that's why. Ah, mystery. It does kind of look cute with the trees being see-through, though. Yeah. I, I don't mind that. Oh, such a numpty. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> it's nice. Anyway. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. There's no river there. I can choose uh, a different cho chroma key color, right? Isn't that a thing I can do? Mm -hmm. But the but the the foggy is green. The foggy is green. So then it would show the green foggy. It's all good. I I I'll, I'll grow accustomed. Green to it. froggies. Floods. The life <laughs> artist breakdowns <laughs> every day of my life <laughs> but hi everybody welcome to Taz and some veil D D actual live actual play live actually actual live play actually, actually. um <laughs> and thanks mr walken <laughs> but, uh, okay i can't do that right now but uh, hi it's so good to see you all and thank you so much for all the hype train that My is three God. weeks that is that is a turkey of level seven Choo -choo. hype trains and so the world has shifted triple sevens is real lucky right for the players like real lucky lucky Say that, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I can say that. Um, but yes, thank you so so very much, you guys. It's very much appreciated. And um, let's, oh my goodness, we get to say properly hi to Clover today. Thank you for the raid. How you doing, friend? Go check out Kroba streams on Wednesdays. So if you're like, oh, I don't know what to do before a session, go check out Kro. Duh. Kro's great. Great friend, great people. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much for the raid, Kro. Hope y'all are doing well. If you've come in from Kro's, much love. Let us know how your stream was, because we have we barely even started, so we can actually talk to you today and not feel like we're ignoring you. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, sorry about that, and thank you! Um, as per usual, um, who who wants to go first? The Slart. It's a good name. <laughs> we get a lot of good names lately. I got diarrhea hole last <laughs> night. Oh my god, really? <laughs> <laughs> Slart as well. Please. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the slart means either. It's a good name. Just a good it's name. Sounds on my Slurpy shark. Uh, thank you, V, for the, for the bit. V, thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Whew. All right. And just for Just for that. First off, today we're gonna start with 
people on the stairs, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Dom Package, how you doing today, Dom? Hi, I'm Dime Package. I do beef on the stairs, and my introduction will be the thing that I have to hold in constantly every single Wednesday, and I'll do it in Beefon's voice. Andy, thank you very much for the raid. I'm so used to doing it. <laughs> I remember a couple of weeks ago, Andy came in and was like, Oh, oh, you're up. Oh, I'm so used to seeing you guys doing D&D. <laughs> so it's nice yeah. to be able to actually say to actually welcome Handy. Thank you very much for the support. Handy's one of the people that I talk about who's just like, hey, I listen to the show. I'm like, fucking really? <laughs> yeah. So thank you all. When you guys do all this stuff with the bits and everything, is we we've made it. We bringing really your friends, made it. bringing your friends and being like, oh my god, see, I told you they do the fucking thing. And it's like, yeah, man, that's us. <laughs> That's the breakfast club for you. But um, for all yeah. the D&Ders. &D oh, bring them to us. And if they have if they have no clue what D&D &D is, be like, do you like hot OCs? Get your ass in here. Do you like creatures? Get your ass in here. Do you like chaos and good times? No, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm just kidding. Get in here, we'll fix it. Uh you a furry. <laughs> <laughs> Not just no re response, just you a furry. Think about it. I got the best response, and I was that laugh from Rubes. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, <gasps> hello, Camellia, aka Rubes makes stuff. How you doing today, Rubes? <laughs> Hi, I am good. I am Rubes. I play Camellia what? Throws. <laughs> what? Hi, good. <laughs> yeah, I am also a uh, haver of dog goob. She is napping. Goob. Mm. Hey, goob. goob. Hey, goob. Groobs. Groobs. <laughs> oh, sweet. To the point. Do you like big monsters? Do you like inside chaos? Do you like to make friends with goblins named Bart Buckle? Not yet. No, there's no got. We've got Pippi. Got Pippi's got pretty Pippi. cute. She fucking is. I literally cannot draw her because she's so cute. <laughs> this is impossible. <laughs> uh, Camellia, choose choose who goes next. Uh, I'm gonna close my eyes and randomly point. I pointed at nothing. <laughs> so let's I go. It, I hope it lands on Goob. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, let's, go, let's go Tarquin Ooh. Introducing The man, the myth, the legend The slightly transparent head But it's not a clue, it's just Key messing <laughs> up Played by Darian Audios Hi Hi everyone, I'm Darian And I'm happy to be with all of you In this lovely session that we're going to start And you know I'll be playing the part of Tarquin the world's strongest, most handsome monk that has very beautiful hair and a very big brain inside of the head, and that's why it <laughs> shines so much because it's very bright. Just yep. it's reflective. It's not exactly. actually transparent. It's reflective. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why the basilisk stood no chance. <laughs> oh, <laughs> exactly. And uh, last, but by by no means. By no means least. With a new friend from the other side. Hooray! <laughs> we got Ludo by Ani. Okay. Uh, and then JC said... <laughs> I said hello and thank you for being here. Hey! And thank you for the big old crazy ass hype train. And thanks for <laughs> being here. And I love D&D with y'all so much. And this is going to be so much fun. Hello. Ah, it's such a squishy rush on the name. <laughs> oh, uh, mm. just a heads up. The next oh. time we play, the channel might have a different name. Uh, that's perfectly fine. The channel name is changing by next week. But don't uh, just ignore ignore that. It'll be perfectly fine. I Same channel. We do all the Canva marketing. Mm. God 
damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's okay. Probably um, should have told you that. <laughs> it's, it's no it's issue. I have the files to see. Um, and, um, yes, we haven't got Val slash Danny here. Um, he is away doing fair capitalism, but he is also an integral part of the gang. And also, hi, I'm Key. Uh, it's not Onki, it's uh, DM Key. Um, but you can call me Key or DM if you're feeling polite and or scared. Um, <laughs> uh, you can have as many eyes added to Key as you like. Um, as Subdued and Maka are beautifully exemplifying in chat. <laughs> uh, I am the DM. Uh, I am everyone... I forgot to everyone, everyone in the Discord. Fuck, I knew, I knew I forgot something. Um, I'm forgetful. Um, I am imperfect. But isn't the, every, everything? <laughs> Question mark. Uh, <laughs> but it is so good to have you all here. I'm very glad you're all here, and I hope you enjoy your time. In our world, okay. the world we're creating, it's been created. It's be, it's being fucking changed on the daily, on on, on momentary basis. Um, because we have these lovely players who keep doing things that change the course of time and history and the future, and even the past. Except not that, because that would be weird and timey wimey, and God. God knows I haven't got the organizational skills for that. And yeah. I think that's everything. Is that everything? Is anyone got any anything? Uh we have a Discord server and there's like live discussion channels oh, there where people like talk about it live and share memes and stuff. So if you got yeah. any stuff, you want to talk with fellow friends, come on into the disco. And there's the live session discussion chat which is purely just basically your live tweeting what's going on yeah. notable quotables for when we inevitably say something silly um <laughs> or point profound but probably mostly silly and uh we love you guys a lot yeah we have a voice channel that will not ever be used <laughs> It shall remain quiet and empty for all time. But if you guys want to go in there and, and, and just scream and hang out with each other while you watch us scream and hang out with each other. Oh, you better not. Yeah, you, you better not. <laughs> you do that, you got to answer to me. <laughs> oh my God. Scream uh, into the void. <laughs> Yeah, it's is a safe place to do that. Um, screaming into the astral sea. Absolutely. You know? Oh, where Amber lies under there and she's about to get stabbed and there's oh octopus. She's not. Salmon. Luna. You not got any new ones? You haven't looked up any new fish for in case this happened again? Milk Maka, fish. Quick. Give us some more fish. fish. Line fish. One fish, eel, two fish, eel, red fish, fish blue zebra fish, fish, cow fish, sword fish, frog fish, sushi, fish sticks, place, soul, cod, all the good ones for puns, flounder, yuppie. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, shall we, why? Um, we're going to a little bit as we recap what happened last time. Let's tell me one day of the <laughs> Um, Kentaganaster, the the wonderful. Wonderful, terrible bard man wants boyfriend to ever, ever so lovely Umberlie. Um, was beat up by the crew 
uh, because he was doing evil and being uh, manipulative, and that's not very nice. So the group beat him up and put him in a trunk. However, after taking Diluca over to the um, new temple founded by Actilina, they returned to the opera house to find Kentaganaste was indeed not in his trunk anymore. He had escaped through what Ludo eventually realized was the ceiling that had a giant hole in it. And the others almost immediately knew to be the ceiling with the giant hole in it. Seemingly having flown, flown away. But the group carried on, got Bardemos, um, accomplished their task with Luca, and headed back to Ninut for snowy times and updating their mission progress. Also with a new orphan in tow who is helping out on uh, Barbanos's, uh I was going to say spaceship, <laughs> skyship. As they returned, they had another small meeting with uh, Icta and Tyrion and learned that the strange woman, Sally, that attacked them outside uh, the, the, the shrine, the icy shrine, the hard to find shrine, uh, has been interrogated by Icta to sadly no avail because I rolled an at 20 before the session. <laughs> That's how the game works. Um, however, Pithy was fairly happy to see the group back, made friends with uh, the lovely Bartimors, Australian biggest lawn men, and uh, they all got their shiny new weapons and armor and gloves with little crowns on them. <laughs> and at that point, they were set off on another mission! This time to find a missing child from the very quaint uh, Yadashan town, if you can even call it that, the Yadashan hamlet of Vinefell Creek, kind of to the southern centre area of uh, the region of Ospra, which is kind of a little chicken leg uh, on the side of the continent. And not not far from one little uh, Myrmol monastery, which we've heard a couple of things about. So, the team set off, left Umberlai behind to recover, relax, have some R&R, &R. <laughs> and um, yeah, just taking some time for herself. The group wondered why they were being sent to this arse end of nowhere creek for what seemed to be a kidnapping occurrence but there had been reported strange events in this neck of the woods literally the woods it's forest of strange arcanic happenings strange creatures strange events that just didn't quite make sense things that one could mayhaps should even blame on a mysterious well, Gorn Vale. So, as the group arrived on this very small, sloop-like airship, driven by Pithy, and she drops them off at their camp just outside the hamlet, we begin today's episode. A thousand to me! All right, thanks everybody. We'll be taking our 15 minute break. We'll be back just a little bit. <laughs> you guys get up to a lot, I'm just saying. <laughs> so, as you touch down on the on the ground from the sloop, Pithy giving her goodbyes and making sure you've got everything you need for the camp, which involves a little campfire and enough tent, enough tents for everyone to sleep in individually. Very just 
your usual adventurers camping tents nothing huge nothing fancy um things to things to get you by and uh, you are perched next to this lovely small bit of river uh which has this fairly narrow fairly small um but definitely sturdy wooden bridge heading over it into the hamlet itself as you place your feet on full terra firma for the first time in this adventure one could argue um no longer pained by altitude sickness <laughs> or <laughs> all of our um, ears pop yeah just a huge drop at the edge of town you feel grounded camellia you especially feel that connection back to earth and the home <laughs> and nature the dappled sunlight all all the bird song and animal noises or grasshoppers you can hear it's not quite home but it is as close as you've been since joining these adventures mm. but you all enjoy this lush freedom almost i think although it is a small very small hamlet um there is some novelty to knowing that this evening you will be sleeping neath the stars and under some tree coverage thankfully so if the weather's a bit shit then you'll be all right so <laughs> is there anything you guys would like to do as you touch down can we breathe in <laughs> yeah <laughs> Take Can a we big look around breath. to see the direction in which we have to advance? Yes, um, you can see that just across the bridge, um, even from here, um, a, a, a amount of distance away, but not too far, but not too close. <laughs> really bad at distance perception, so my apologies. Mm -hmm. um, you see, um, so say hundred or so meters away like you can a bit further away than the image on the stream suggests uh you see kind of the small buildings and huts and cottages of this hamlet um so and the rest is just very thick tall mix of red woody forest and pine trees and all other kind of deciduous flora uh and as you breathe in you do smell that kind of slightly moist warm nourishing earthy scent um that comes with kind of a recently not super recent but definitely in the last few days there's been some rain or just some gentle fog or mist in the mornings perhaps just that gentle warmth of precipitation in the air nice and a rich smell of pine and quite a lot of wildflowers around so it is definitely mixed in with a not too extreme floral note and uh the slight irony tinge of the smell of the river the stream all right, Ludo's going to sneak an arm around Umberlai's side and walk with the Umberlai. crew over towards the town. Umberlai is back in news. <laughs> oh, it's good. Okay, Winnie, it's Winnie. He's walking, he's sneaking an arm around Winnie. <laughs> oh, wait, that reminds me. I have her little bracelet thing that makes her small. Yay! Oh, I'm done. okay, Tarquin makes her, then. <laughs> makes her about the size of a large dog. <laughs> And I make her the size of Goob. It's like tiny spaniel. <gasps> oh. Tiny spaniel size. <laughs> Yay. I put that on her and just start carrying her. You're so Tar tiny. Tarquin, Let's I'm go, sorry that you're not third. Gonna... <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going to reject you. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Tarquin. <laughs> my arm uh, gently placed around the hip of my darling Tarquin. I walk <laughs> towards a thing. Hey, wh what are we doing here again, guys? His hair is actually slightly smoother than Umberlai's. 
I'm I'm rely on a good day. <laughs> just a, a gentle, a gentle. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not bad. Not bad. The smell of pure silver. <laughs> I should get my own fragrance one day. Hmm. Smell of champions. What are we gonna do? We're gonna capture some kid. We're gonna find one because he's or they're lost i think we should go find the family first oh okay it's probably over there walk, 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 you walk, point walk, to walk, the, walk. yeah point do you, to the hamlet yeah do you point, point with your lips buildings. of course I, 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 my hand's busy gently <laughs> caressing <laughs> tarquin <laughs> or just a leg just stick a leg out that way <laughs> where do you remember the name of the child we're looking for? Does anyone remember the name of the child? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think it, it, it goes something like uh, water. It's, All right. it, 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 it's Kinry Mosswater, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Is that a question or a statement? It's a statement. No, it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, for those who missed it, the rule is if you've got it in your notes or you genuinely remember it as a player, it is allowed. If you as a player do not remember it, obviously your character cannot remember it, and so you're allowed to roll a history check with advantage or disadvantage depending on the difficulty of said remembrance. Uh, if the roll lets you down, you remember it when you remember it or see something that immediately jogs you, player, memory. Or you can just do a Ludo. Hey, what are we doing here? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're looking for a Carbal Garble too. No. Oh. <laughs> Somewhere in Nanute, Carbal Garble and his brother are still in the school's infirmary um, <laughs> after being yoked into each other and sliding down the frosty hill. <laughs> uh, Bifon, Camellia, you remember? Uh, we're looking for... Kinry Mosswater. They're ah. about nine years old, and they're missing for five days, I think is what. Uh, oh, that's so sad. Did he tell this? Sure. That's totally what I had right written down, so that's fine. Yep, <laughs> five days ago. Five days? Oh my god, we're gonna have to start looking for a corpse. Oh. <laughs> Ludo laughs. <laughs> uh, you l laugh just as you <laughs> cross the bridge into the hamlet um, you see around you as provided in your maps earlier just to help with the visualization um, would you like me to put it on the screen you can do if you so wish I um, do it so not wish necessary but it may help just to help visualize everything because I am not good at distances or environments believe it or not <laughs> and that was not the thing i researched this week <laughs> nah you're great dm enemy ribs memory oh god oh, thank you. <laughs> ah. it's big <laughs> i exported a died bit rate for you guys not bit right the the, the p there we go. Nothing but the best. Yes. Is it a tiff? We are approaching from the south, the west. The... So, oh, your camp is, so you see the blue, that's the river. And then your camp is the little few splotches just below that. Ah, I do and see then that. as you Yay. walk into the hamlet, you've got this little kind of archway curve of buildings. So you're kind of just in between the bridge and that first building on the top. Dang, this West. like this is like barely double digits population. Um wasn't it like sixteen Pithy, or something? Pithy did tell you. Oh my god, Rubes is on it today. <laughs> One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen. Yeah, counting the missing kid. Depending, depending, <laughs> depending on um, 
15 what and you one count corpse. as a civilian. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Depending, oh my god. <laughs> 15 and all stinky. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can open the graveyard now. Oh my god. Depending on what you would count as a civilian, and no, that doesn't mean a corpse, <laughs> it is 15 or 16, including the missing child. Fucking stinky. <laughs> Pithy obviously does count. The sixteenth, as 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 a civilian. As we approach the town, uh, do we notice anybody walking up or notice us or like run to their houses and slam their doors? Um, there's a couple of people milling about. You see some people, um, a couple of people at the bottom, kind of site, uh, which is just an amalgam of stuff. It looks as if they are building uh, another house, another building of some pot of meat some sorts um you see we two men. made any sorry go ahead no, you're good. <laughs> have we made um, any announcements do they know we're coming or they're just like a bunch of creeps on the other side of the river <laughs> staring at the town <laughs> you're kind of casually ent entering town as a band of adventurers um Pippi yeah but we've been say... asleep here all night <laughs> all right <laughs> we're just kind of like on the outskirts of town just a bunch of weirdos looking you're killing them out. Uh, yeah. I hope they don't want to eat us. <laughs> yeah, I guess there has been. Yeah. Um. No, this is like the first time you're officially. They're they're not surprised that they've been let know that help is coming. So. Okay. Yeah. And they, they, they themselves are a pretty isolated society, so they're probably not fully against that kind of uh, arm's length starting out. <laughs> Um, but yes, in terms of outside, you do see two men uh, at the bottom building site, uh, and um, you hear various activity in some of the other houses and around the backs, but no other people immediately make themselves known to you, or apparent. Okay, I'm gonna start doing my thing unless one of y'all wanna take the uh, lead here. Can I roll something to like see if I can suss out who maybe the quote unquote leader of this town is? Who is your lead? Take me to your leader. <laughs> yeah, of course you can. Like insider or something or investigation? What do you think? Uh, That'd probably be insight. Da, 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 that would be a wisdom thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll allow it. I'll allow insight. Yay. Yay, why not? Let's um, see. Let me. I'm 17. Oh, 17. Um, there doesn't appear to be like one significantly larger house than any others. Like, there are a variety of different sizes, but none of them kind of scream, I am the leader. Rah. Um,. But you do see outside of the third house. I'm just going to send you guys vision now because that will be easier to figure out as soon as Discord cooperates. Um, you see uh, a whole bunch of kind of kids' wooden toys outside. So you can assume that house does indeed have children in. Or indeed. Hud. I will now send you the updated dated map <laughs> just to make life easier. <clears throat> Is there anybody else milling about outside? You see a wolfhound. Kind of quite large. Re reaches easily to uh, hip height. Um, maybe slightly higher on Camellia. And uh, very, very kind of lean, <laughs> scraggly, um, quite dark fur. Um, it's kind of just gently laying by the well in the center of town at the minute. Kind of lifts his snoot up and gives the area a sniff and kind of sees your group and 
wags his tail a little bit. He's clearly slightly older, on the slightly older side, but not unfriendly. Mm -hmm. Oh, and DM, may I ask you a question? What do we represent? Of course. Now that we are on official business and not just picking up a secretary. The, you uh, are part of the Espers group. Um, as our official... As That is in a group you are officially a part of. Um, mm -hmm. This is not necessarily official Espers business. Um, as they said, there might be other things that lead to potential, well, leads on the Esp Esper's business of who do we represent? All that good them. stuff. You are the Breakfast Club. The That's us. I mean, like, who who do we work for? What is the official? Is it like the? Oh, it would be like, um, depending on how you wanted to present yourselves, you could say the Adventuring Guilds. Um, you were sent by the Adventuring Guilds, um, or specifically sent by the adventuring guild at Ninut. Ninut. Cool. Yeah. I have voice Hello, enabled sir. the map. Oh, she... <laughs> we uh, represent the adventuring group of Ninut. Uh, we're here on a missing persons case. Who might you be? I'm Beef on the Stairs. This is the Breakfast Club. <laughs> um, you speaking to the builders? I'm speaking to the wolf chap that you just described to me. Oh, the dog? Is it a dog? It's a straight up dog, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that's wonderful. I didn't know what you were describing there. That's Because everything dog. is a thing person. <laughs> very valid. Um, yeah, it would be a, a animal folk. It's... Semicolon. So it's an animal, dog. animal, not an animal, humanoid yeah, animal, a... animal folk and person. Doggo, doggo, aminal, pet, aminal. So okay. we can refresh that uh, if you wish, or you can. Have I have I seen anyone? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm not walking up to a place where there might be children, because like I said, we're creepy cannibal people yeah. that have been sleeping across the water. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to approach like an adult, <laughs> somebody who looks like they may be in charge. Apparently, there are builders around. Yeah. Um, Camille, yeah. if you'd like to question the dog, you can. <laughs> might know something. JC is the map full screen on purpose. Purpose. Yes, everybody can see it. <laughs> on the stream? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it's got text on it. It's mostly for reference, so it's not too much of a worry right now. Cool. We haven't even met any of these people yet. But the dog is in the social area, and the two dudes are at the building site. What's up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks Me up at you. Sniffs. Amelia, it is your time. A little bit. My cats speak with animals. Oh my god, you certainly can. Yeah. I totally uh, didn't see that coming. <laughs> uh, hi, doggy. Oh. Oh, hello. How, how, how are you doing? Uh, I've not uh, seen you around here before. Uh, we're new. We're sent by the Adventuring Guild at Ninu in order to find, uh, Kenry? Mosswater? Oh, uh, I'm not so good at them human names. Uh, what what, do, oh, what uh, does that one look like? What color fur have they got? Oh, uh, I know that they're short, a child. Uh, or do you know anybody that we can go talk to about this? I mean, it's a small town. They probably know quite a bit about the other humans. I'm just a, just a dog. I know that my dad's pretty cool. Oh, uh, who's your dad? He kind of gestures to the building site. Okay, well, addressing the group. Uh, this dog says his dad is over there at the building site. Maybe we can talk to someone there. I I can I can take you to him and go on the sec. Oh, and he you see he kind of stretches out <laughs> as far as he can and shakes oh. off the sleepies and kind of trots over um towards uh one of the two men um both kind of 
young adult, maybe twenties or so. Very much, uh, you can tell they've been working. They're they're pretty much here to just work on this all day every day. Um, quite like ch- ch- pff, forgot the word then. Chafed hands, <laughs> uh, tool belts, and everything. And uh, goes over to the one uh, on the right. And uh, he says, Ah, oh, Fergus, you've uh, brought, us, brought us some guests. Uh, how may we help? Yeah, I was going to go and talk to those guys, but the dog was just so charming. Oh, uh... Was... But, uh, that's the dog's owner over there. He wanted to show us the way. You've been speaking to Fergus. Oh, uh, I can... Can you talk, boy? And just... You... Camellia, you obviously hear. Yeah, I can. I can talk. And everyone else, you just hear. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, you silly boy. Ah, oh. so what brings you uh, here? Is it the tourism, the leisure? Uh, we were sent by the Adventuring Guild over at Ninut, where the Breakfast Club. We're here to help you look for Kinry Mosswater. Uh, you see the other guy uh, speak up. Oh, the, uh, the moss water kid, eh? Oh, you're, if you better show them where they're going, then. The man you now know to be Yorv, dad of, dad of Fergus. <laughs> um, <laughs> looks back to him. I have a better ad. All right, come with me, then. Did you say you were, and as he kind of escorts you back towards the house with all the toys and stuff outside. Did you say you were called the Breakfast Club? Yeah. Did did you get to choose that name or? It's because we yeah. like breakfast. Mm-hmm. Right. Cause, do, uh... do you not like breakfast? Oh no, I I I like breakfast. I just I feel like if I was an adventurer, I'd go something a bit more like hardcore, you know, like <laughs> the um, the uh, belligerent owl bear or uh, fearsome dragon slayer or something. I don't know. All we do is eat from the first moment we wake up. Very good at it. Right. And you're here to uh, find Kinry, right? Mm-hmm. Can, can you eat your way to finding him? Or... Are you the parent? Can we talk to the parent, please? I'm, I'm taking you there now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you have very short numbers and you don't want to make it even shorter. So let us talk no. to the parents. <laughs> All right, no need to be dicks about it. Um, he goes up to the uh, moss water door, kind of knocks on it. Hey, uh, anyone home? Yes. Is every and you hear someone inside just kind of clashing together a few pots and pans and stuff. Uh, can I help? Oh, I uh, got some visitors for you the breakfast club the breakfast club but it's almost noon hello no they're um they're the Ad- adventuring guild from ninu here to see if they can find kinry i'll i'll leave you to it and kind of pats you on the back ludo and heads back down towards the building site nice guy and you see him and the other guy just shrug to each other <laughs> and Fergus come and greet him and uh, after a couple of seconds the door opens and you see this um, 
quite waifish woman, uh, quite thin, um, very kind of protruding um, cheekbones. Hashtag trad wife. <laughs> She's just lost her son. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, quite dark. We punch those. Of... <laughs> blue, blue black hair. And uh, she looks to you all as she opens the door. Um, and she's also carrying a, a tiny, a tiny dark haired toddler, about four or so years old at most. Aww. Who's just kind of sucking their thumb. Just there he is. Big brown eyes. Uh, hi, how are you all doing? I, I hope your journey here was good. Was lovely. Oh, um, wonderful. May we come in? Yes, uh, of course. Where are my manners? Please. And no, she no moves, bother. Moves out the way, and you see just very humble room, kind of an open lounge, if you can call it that, an open uh, area with seats uh, that leads with a dining room and a, a tiny kitchenette, and then some stairs up the side. It's, it's fairly messy in there. Um, it, it does look like the house, the, a house that's been neglected for a few days while uh, other more important matters have been attended to. What would I need to roll to kind of guess how many people live here, usually? Uh, roll a <laughs> for Ludo. <laughs> um, roll a perception check for me. At advantage. Ooh. Please some thank you. Oh, uh, do we have any information on this town, or could we roll a history check to see if any of us do? I don't know if we were given any information on this town at all. Um, Pithy would have given you the names of the people that live here, um, mm -hmm. but nothing else. She just said it was a quiet little town, nothing crazy okay. to worry about. With an 11, Ludo, you see a strange picture on the wall. Not kind of a picture you've seen before. It's not a painting. It's not engraving it's some weird thing kind of in between um almost metallic and on it you see what appears to be this woman um and another uh, another uh this woman uh a man next to her and then she's holding the the baby and also a young child by their side which makes Four. So you can assume that four people live here. Neat. Yeah. Mm, B phone's gonna pull out a chair for the lady and uh for himself and Camellia. Oh, um, can I get any of you a drink? Fresh pulled from the well this morning. At anyone? Sure. Thank you very much. Um, she'll bring over a big jug of water and glasses for all of you. While all while holding Bebby. Um who I'll just keep calling Bebby because it's fun. Um <laughs> <laughs> Bebby <Hello, baby>. Spud. <laughs> <laughs> you know who Targuin is, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll make the baby roll a history check. Do it. Make a roll, please. <laughs> Drag queen. First words. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That baby roll a twenty. <laughs> Silver. Silver. That's cute. He's gonna grow up to be a champion. <laughs> uh, I mean, I just hope he grows up happy, you know? That's all you can really ask for. Mm. 
And the baby's eyes light up and he seals a million futures before him. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you're all here about Kinry then? And she'll just lean against the kitchen counter and face you all as you're all sitting at the kitchen table. Maybe supping your lovely fresh waters from the from the well. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's what we're here for. Mind if we ask you a few questions? Uh, of course, I was expecting no less. Um, Ravan, my husband, he should be home in a couple of hours. He's out back working this afternoon, but likes not to be interrupted. Especially at the minute. I hope we're not intruding. Well, we are a private little town, but there are some things worth sacrificing that for. How long has this town been around? Oh, years. <laughs> I think the last time we tried to check it out, it must have been a couple hundred years. Um... I think anyone who grew up here doesn't recall any relatives not having lived here, at least in part. Do you know how it came to be settled? Unfortunately not. Mm. It's just a nice spot in the forest, too far from anything, but just far enough from everything. It's a good couple of days' walks to anything considerable it's nice to live my manners land. so you are um miss oh. mosswater um you can call me felici felici be fun yeah. this is camellia that's hello. luto hello and over there is well i mean you know rolling by immediately heard the dice get picked up. <laughs> um, you seem familiar. I'm, my apologies, the name is not on the tip of my tongue. It's Tarquin. Um, I'm pretty sure you're just in awe. Uh, yes, it's gotta be that. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> It, it happens most of the times. <laughs> I... I would assume so. Not that... I mean, just that you get recognized. Not that people don't recognize you. Um... Yeah. Who are so, some of the other families around here? I assume it's families, being a small town and all. <sighs> For the most part, um, we've got us, the most waters. Uh, four of us. Three at the moment. Um, you see um, the baby, Bibby, just starting to like, play with a little strand of her hair <laughs> while she's talking. Uh, you've got the Owsleys, a couple doors down. Uh, they are probably the... We haven't got like a mayor, but if we did, it would probably be Grenfer. He's pretty... Pretty strong-minded about a lot of things. Um, his wife and daughter live there too. And uh, her fiancé has also recently moved in with them. Then you've got the uh, Didis family, which is just Meglin and her sister. Um, really sweet, sweet kids. Um, Horace Grassbeam. Uh, he's been building the last few days, but he's off duty today, thankfully. Mm. Um, and he's he's wonderful. He's incredibly helpful. Uh, you've got Mr. Frostel. Um, he technically lives alone, um, but he has had relations with um, Miss Effie over at the Bloom's house, which is the first you would have seen on your way in. Um, she has a little butcher's and fish shop going there, if we need any meat or anything. Mostly trade for whatever we provide, so logs or vegetables and everything. 
Do so you guys and, uh, hunt, gather? Uh, we mostly uh, craft and gather. Um, gotcha. Any relationship to any other nearby areas? So you guys are just mostly insular? Mostly insular. Uh, there have been moments where talk has happened about outside deals, but they've never really come to fruition. And who's this little guy right here? Uh, this is Steel. Uh, the Ooh. youngest in the t town so far. Won't be long until Sarah gives birth to hers, I don't think. Steel. Kind of reaches <laughs> a little chubby finger out to poke, try and poke your nose before. I stick my finger out and give him a little baby handshake. <sighs> Takes it and... <laughs> Don't shake too hard. <laughs> Rip his hand off. <laughs> Just gonna uh, let him have it. <laughs> so, uh... And most of the others in towns are just one-off people. Kind of the last of their generations, or just happened upon the town and kind of stayed. Like, uh... As you saw, uh, Yorv, he works with Vic really closely. They're basically brothers. Um, they're not, but they may as well be. What are you and guys of course, building? Fergus. Um, we thought some kind of meeting hall that we can use for well, town meetings, but also like as an exchange for our goods and wares. A place for the kid kids to learn would be great. Mm -hmm. Um, Meglin's house is only foot so big, and with uh, Sarah's kid on the way, we might need an expansion. So you guys place. usually meet up there for things? We usually meet outside the fireplace, just by the well, the big fire pit. Oh. If there's okay. anything to speak about or exchange, we all rest there, and sometimes one of us will make a rather larger meal, and we'll share it and break the bread, and enjoy it there and then i'll head back to our homes at night and i will warn you it does get dark pretty early here it's a seasonal thing but also a forest thing gotcha there's only a quite a few hours less of daylight i'm afraid and it's okay then, it's most of us dappled. can see at night <laughs> oh that's good <laughs> that's a problem this town has we're Mostly just a bunch of humans, so would be good to get more diversity at some point, but Well, right now we are here to help, so <clears throat> Is there anything you can tell us? Um when did they go missing? When was the last time you saw Kenry? <sighs> it would have been the evening before he vanished um we went to we went to bed as usual uh, put still in his little crib upstairs and the next morning kenry was gone and we searched around the vicinity as much as we could and we, we just haven't found anything and times we've gotten close enough to maybe find something there's just been too much threat and we don't want to lose another to the darkness or the woods or whatever is out there so they were just missing this was in the morning we assume he went at some time at night or got taken or something no signs of any break-in you can go and check for yourselves, but we couldn't find anything. Huh. Anything, uh, where were they? they? They have their own room? Were they sleeping with you? Where? Yeah, we've got a couple of, uh, bedrooms upstairs. There's the main bedroom, which is ours, on the furthest side of the house, and then Kinray's is so... opposite to Stills. No sign of disturbance, anything? 
Nothing odd. Uh, not at mm. all. Just a bed without Kenry in it. Yeah, and you um, say they left or something took them, or at least you feel that that's the case. You have to be optimistic. Mm. Nothing bad's happened. I've they been known to wander off? Kenry's a great kid. Mischievous, but great. He'd been seen climbing the building site a few times, or he'd see if he could steal a mackerel from Miss Bloom, but he wasn't a bad kid. He Nothing suggested he wanted to run away. Oh, no one's accusing him of that. It's very hopeful that maybe they just wandered off and got lost. I really hope so. You said something... I know, I know. Kind of just hugs, hugs still a bit. You said something about the forest and the dangers around here. Wild animals, something more? We don't know. We didn't venture out there. We're just civilians. We're not adventurers. We're not warriors. We're just people. Is there any sort of security? Uh, you mentioned Grenfor. Are you just headstrong, or they have the body to match? Uh, mostly headstrong. Uh. We've got uh, Vic and Yorv. Obviously, Horus have got slight, mm -hmm. or slightly stronger, but... I think because we have the fire lit and the little fires around town, nothing dares actually come into the village. We've not had anything break in yet. I forget so nothing's actually was... come in, but you do know there is something outside the lines of your town. Well, it's a forest. <laughs> always something out there but is it just animals do you, i know you guys are not adventurers but um do you think it might be something more you hear tale of oh, all sorts of things fairy tales and storybooks certainly don't help all kinds of myths and legends and wraiths and ghouls and Skeletons and owl bears and basilisks and dragons. People? No, there aren't dragons. Uh, people, maybe. Just want to know what we're running into. Of course, once we're done here, we're going to check out the perimeter and see if we can find a trail of some sort. Um, is there anything else that you can share with us? Anything you feel is important. Is there any way you maybe could help us to find Kinry? Kinry, is there a nickname we can call out? Is there a trail that we can follow? Is there a favorite item of theirs? Anything? Well, he seems he... The one weird thing is that he did take his favorite storybook with him. Okay. Um... I know... There was a story in there he really loved. Uh, his dad used to read to him. Well, still does. He, um, Megalyn would probably be able to help you with that at the schoolhouse. Um, otherwise, I mean, it's like he said, it's a very personable, small, tight knit neighborhood. It's possible someone knows more than they're letting on. Do you think anyone in town? I, I really don't want to accuse any, any, anyone, but do you think anyone in the town could mean you or your family any harm? Roll a persuasion check for me, please. Sure thing. It's like, I don't want to talk shit, but I don't want to talk <laughs> What's the shit. Tea? <laughs> but a 17 says maybe you want to talk some shit. Mm. I don't like that 
bitch, Sarah. She having a kid just because I had one. <laughs> ooh, I'm just looking at the list like, ooh, what you cues. <laughs> I I don't really know, but <sighs> something I try not to go around the western side of town if I don't have it's there's nothing specific. It's just a bad feeling. The western side of town. I mean, the we made our camp across the bridge out there. That side oh, of town. You're safe outside of town, but yeah, that side. Um, okay. So the from the booms, kind of inward. Hmm. But I wouldn't ever accuse anyone. Of... You're Plus, afraid to go to a part of your own town. Not afraid, it's just Effie is known to take a story and exaggerate it and run a bit wild with it and if she smells anything weird or off or just sees anything she wants to see, she will make it the town's problem. Okay. Can I roll inside DM? Yeah, of course. What are you, what are you what are you? What are you boying? Uh, what am I? <laughs> I'm trying to see if maybe she's like Anyways. not, maybe she's hiding, like not saying stuff out of fear, or like mm. politeness or anything. Any anything that she might okay. be trying to hold back. Okay. That is a fourteen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already thinking that the, the blues are like the things of. The, the 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 chains of massacre family. D and D chainsaw, interesting. I'd be the whole town, and we're the ones in danger, right? Um, you see that kind of as upset as she obviously is at this entire situation. She is holding fairly firm in uh, her emotions and her convictions right now. She's not hesitating. She's not doubtful. Okay. Lisey, you have been a gem. We're going to do all we can to bring your child back. At the very I least, like to give you some it. answers. <laughs> Talks really good for such a young child. Oh, <laughs> Megalyn is a great teacher. <laughs> Uh, you say your husband, uh, what was his name again? Uh, Ravon. He's just outside, but it's best to catch him when he's not working. He's, um... Okay. He's not taking it as well. And, I uh, can imagine. Him crafting is the only thing to keep his mind off of it at the moment. But if you come back this evening, I'm sure he'll feel maybe better. Or tomorrow. We'll do. But we'll be Thank here. You. Stay as long as you like. If you need any food or anything, don't hesitate to come by. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll leave you to it for now. Um, and yes, of course, we'll come back around. If you think of anything at all that could help, please let us know. You'll be the first. All right. Bye bye. Later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right. So, <laughs> since the days don't last very long, I think that we should split up. <gasps> yeah. Scooby Dooby Dooby Dooby. And I think that you two Wonderful. should go to the A's. <laughs> the Owlsleys? The what? Owlsleys. Yes. <laughs> Ron Isleys. <laughs> I think that you should go and talk to Grenfer. AC's hard-headed. I'm pretty sure you guys can get through. 
Uh, Camellia and I, well, first, Camellia, before your spell wears off, I think we should talk to the dog. Oh. And we'll okay. circle around the other side of town. Sure. Okie dokie. Okay. Who are our teams? Do -do 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 -do. Team Tarko. Arco yeah. <laughs> Tacos. <laughs> Marcus. You guys are Marcus, you guys Marcus, are Marcus going <laughs> clockwise, and we're gonna go counter. So we're gonna we're we're gonna okay. go to the building site. Um, so I want to ask the dog something, and then we're gonna start circling around <laughs> to the Marcus. west side. Okay, very important question. Uh, team it? team uh, Beefmelia, um, <clears throat> what is your breakfast <clears throat> food team name of choice? Corned beef. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. Uh, no, I love it. Hang on. Wait. So we've got breakfast tacos. Yeah. <laughs> and corned beef. And it, it canonically fucking works with your names. Did y'all plan this? What the fuck? What? No. <laughs> That's absolutely incredible. No. Let's go, Camellia. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we will go talk to Doggo first and then we'll zigzag between betwixt so yeah very up. important to speak to grenfer i think mm. team corned beef it's, are you talking to the dog first or yeah mm -hmm. i'm guessing the uh dm just to ask you outside yeah. of those, i'm guessing this dog's a little older oh yeah definitely okay. a little bit gray okay a little just bit light gray in the muzzle quick quick question quick 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 doggy questions Woof. Uh, Camellia, can you ask, uh, what was it, Rufus? Uh, Fergus. Fergus, oh my god. <laughs> She's on it. You... She's so careful. Yeah. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> can you please ask Fergus <laughs> if they have smelled anything in the air recently or ever? Okay. Uh, hey, Fergus. I, we have a couple questions for you, if that's okay. I, of course. So, have you smelled anything weird or different around here, either recently or at all? Like, not like trees and plants and meat and stuff. Yeah, just something that smells different from what this village normally smells Ooh. like. There, there have been some weird smells coming from uh, that house over there. House, I don't know why I'm literally about to headbutt the mic, because I'm just pointing like an actual dog. <laughs> um, he points towards the Owsley and Fairheart's house. Mm. Oh, uh, there's been do you think some you can... very strange smells coming from there, and noises. And oh. stuff. What kind of smells and noises? Weird. I don't know what they are. Hmm. Uh, he says that uh, he's been smelling and hearing weird stuff from the Owsley's house. Weird. Hmm. He, he can't really describe what weird is, but weird. Also. Oh, yeah. And again, be fun the whole time. You just hear. <laughs> I saw the, the snout oh. pointing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, could you also... I mean, I guess I could ask him as well, since I could talk to animals. <laughs> um, <laughs> True. Ask him if he can smell Kinry at all. Even just a trail. Of where Kinry might have gone off to. Okay. Uh, so, Fergus, we're looking for Kinry, a small human, lives in that house, points towards their house. If you can remember what they smell like, do you, uh, have you smelled them or know where they could have gone? I, uh, might be able to. My sniffer's kind of on the blink, but, uh, if you uh, get me something of his that reeks of him, I might be able to help. Uh, thanks. Uh, Bifon, 
Uh, at some point, we should go back to the house and get something of Kinry so we can have Fergus smell it. Then he can possibly help us out. We'll run back right now. Um, I think it's even funnier that I hear Camellia going. That's why I think it's really fucking funny. Lisi. Oh, uh, back already. Hi. I should have asked you for this before. Hi. This sideburns. Uh, should have asked you this before. Do you have anything of uh, Kinry's, uh, any sort of possession that they may have left behind? Oh, his Preferably something with maybe a scent on it. His room's exactly as he left it. There's probably something in there if you need. Uh, any favorite yourself. toys or items besides the book? Uh, yeah, you know what? Okay, I'll go check it out. Um, no as you head up, much. you see, you'd see, um, the three rooms all separated with little humble, humble doors, very lovingly crafted, but quite humble doors. And, mm. um, in Kinry's room, you see kind of a very typical room. There's bed, bedside table, kind of a little toy chest, and, um, a chest of draw, very shallow dress, chest of drawers with some of... Uh, his clothing in it. And a little bookshelf. Mm. Nothing does appear to have been moved or shifted suspiciously. Is there anything specifically stinky you would like to get? The stinky has gone full circle. <laughs> We're looking for something stinky. Are there any Talking clothes? You? Oh yeah, you Shirt open it socks. and just all of the clothes are in one drawer because <laughs> child. Um, <laughs> yeah, immediately come upon a really pair of dirty socks. A really all pair right, of I'll dirty take socks. That. <laughs> mm. nope. They got a whiff to them. <laughs> are there any toys or anything about? Um. There's like one, uh, it's like a couple of little trees and like a fake little um, wooden farm set. It's like some cows, a sheep, it looks like some trees, a, wa a little wagon, all carved out of wood. Any other books? There are. Hmm. Do you speak old Osprin? Mostly Faye. No. Yeah. <laughs> so, no. um, shit, be fun. We can talk shit about the others. <laughs> <laughs> there are other books. You do not know what they are named or what they are about without mm. opening them. May I roll perception to see if maybe one of them has been touched a little more than the others? Maybe um, one's a little more rough around the edges? You, you see they're all fairly, like, a little bit well read. Um, mm. What you do notice, though, just with your passive perception, is that there does appear to be Thank a book you. missing from this um, organized shelf of books. Mm -hmm. and you can see like um, on the books either side of that one mm -hmm. like the other the books towards the edge are kind of getting a little bit dusty but the two covers that kind of go either side of the missing book are pristine mm. can I do a quick snoop in like a cabinet or behind a dresser or behind that bookcase or under the bed mm -hmm. looking for secret hiding spots for kids sure uh roll an investigation check please cool camellia are you hunting looking for anything oh i was just pet <laughs> i was just Wait. petting him 
<laughs> I got a 19. <laughs> Sweet. Um, yeah. Um, you don't see anything. Um, but as you Thanks. kind of look out the... You're, you're welcome. Uh, as you look out the window, uh, you see um, what must be Revan, uh, the husband, kind of with the uh, dark chestnut hair, um, working on what appears to be a table, kind of soaring a table leg. And uh, as you look into the backyard, you see that there is a cellar attached to the house. Downstairs, obviously. That would be rude. Downstairs cellar. That's just a stair. Cool. I will take my <laughs> sock. Um, bid a farewell to uh, Felician Steel and head back to Camellia and uh, Thelgis. Bye, little one. Bye. Not, not soon after Camellia, you see um, Ethan return with stinky sock. <laughs> Pretty stinky. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing I wear gloves. Oh, that should work perfectly. Hold it down to Fergus and kind of. Oh. It's a little something there. Give us some time with it. I'll uh, get it in my nose. Just in. Thank you, Fergus. Well, Get back to you. Thank you again. A little scratch behind the ear. Tell him thanks. He just he just leans his head back, just like. Oh. <laughs> I'll give him a little bit more. I won't just sleep him like you that. You see his back leg <laughs> almost start to go. It's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> never go. quite kicking fully, but it's, it's gone. It's gone a little bit. All right. Meanwhile, Team Breakfast Taco. All right. It's an Australian taco. <laughs> so y'all are going to... We are going to the Owsley and Furhart home. Right? Okay. Are, are you? Yeah, we are. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you see um, Bifon and Camellia talking to a dog. Uh, Good. Or it's the building site. <laughs> As we walk over there, Ludo will talk to Tarquid and be like, Hey, do you, uh... You, you, you were listening in there, right? What they're saying to the dog? No, no, no. Like, to the lady who would talk in the house, the mother? Uh, yeah, I was kind of focused on the baby. He's trying to figure out if he remembered me, but... Um... I think they told us something that we had to come to this house and see if they know about the missing child, so... Okay, and you know the name of the missing child? Uh, something about the water. Oh okay. no, we split up the brain cells, Okay, bad. good. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. We, uh, approach the house. It's Hello? Good. Um, yeah, you see, um see the the little house there's kind of a shack or barn or smaller building somewhat behind it um but as you approach um you see a woman come to the door and open it um kind of a strawberry blonde light ginger hair uh very prego um <laughs> very prego um i literally put brigante next to her name in my notes Pregnant, <laughs> and uh, she opens the door. <laughs> oh my God, she sat on a toilet seat and she's pregnant. Um, <laughs> pregnant. She, yeah, she she opens the door. Oh hello. Um, don't think we were expecting to. Oh, are you the um the adventurers? Yep, that's hello, us. Lady. I'm Luto, and uh, you need no introduction for him, I'm sure. Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, you 
no, I'm ever so sorry for like since I've had the baby, since I've been carrying the baby, I've I've forgotten my own name some days, so I've got no hope for someone else. <laughs> Lean in towards Tarquin. Pretty suspicious. Doesn't know you. Pretty suspicious. Yes, I think we need to torture her. Yes, <laughs> probably twenty percent chance it's her at this point. Hello, we are here to ask you some questions about uh, uh, the missing boy. So, I'm sorry, what what, what was your name? Kind of looking at Tarquin. <laughs> My name is Tarquin. And you remember that. Pretty suspicious, pretty oh, suspicious. I'll, I'll try now, I can't promise anything. It's nothing personal though, Doc, don't take it. It's very personal, very personal. Uh, what, yes, I think you are suspicious. You wanna... Listen, I uh, we, we are looking for a... Uh, wait a minute, I, I have the name, I have the name. King Bottle water? Lee gross water. It was very gross. That, oh, the, that one. The, the moss water kid, Kinry. Oh, moss water, well, it's the same. Okay. Yes, we're looking for the little kid. Have you seen ah, him? Have it's, you It's all right, what... Tarquin, names are quite hard, aren't they? Um... I haven't what? seen him since he went missing. But... Yeah, but you know what people are saying, right? What are people saying? Well, come on. Come on, you know. What's your name, sorry? Oh, sorry. Oh, see, I forgot my own name. <laughs> my name's Sarah. Sarah Owlsley. Sarah, come on. You, you, it's okay, you tell us. We're very important investigators from the big city. You you know what people are saying about the boy. <laughs> Come on. But Sarah is like the most common name ever. I mean, couldn't you make one a better up? Like, oh let's go. Who are you fooling? Very uh, suspicious name, Sarah. I'm really sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, it's a small town. People whisper. Lots of rumors going around. Uh, you know what we're talking about. Oh, come on. All right. All right. You got me. I am a little bit pregnant. Yeah, the rumors are true. Oh. But we're looking for... She's that young. Very pregnant. I... Like she's very obviously pregnant. By the way, <laughs> like, but is... Kingsley is not a baby. We are looking for Kingsley. Are you pregnant with Kingsley? Of course, I'm not. That is not how pregnancy works. I don't do know. To, do you want to speak to my my father? I mean, if he's gonna tell us the truth, because apparently you don't want to do that. I think you're looking for a specific truth, and I don't think it aligns with what we have told you. Okay, just remember that baby in your belly is gonna live the life that you lead. And if you live a life, a lead of, cr of crime and lying, that's going to be a lying criminal baby. Yeah, but you can't have a baby unless you're an honest person. Didn't you know that? That is very dangerous. Huh. What is what your you father's name? Is he something like uh, John Doe? No, yeah. his name's Grenfer. Probably like Michael Adams. No, wait, you really didn't know that you can't have a baby unless you're an honest person, though. I would like to roll insight on that. Like, what is she? Is this like some kind of you cult certainly belief? Can. <laughs> you certainly can. You can roll insight on it. That is a 15 to learn about her cult. <laughs> uh, oh my god. She rolled a 16. Can I help him with the roll? No reason to disbelieve. Yeah. We, you can you can do a separate insight check. Let's go. Not twenty. Here we go. Ah oh, no, that was too low. They're gonna roll a two. <laughs> <laughs> so silly. Oh my god. Now, when you say that only innocent people can have a baby, what about like when criminals have baby? Oh. There are other ways to have a baby, but to be pregnant, like properly, regularly pregnant, you have to be an innocent and honest person. This is pretty hashtag trad wife, I'm just saying. <laughs> like, this is like, I'm feeling oppressed right now. <laughs> huh, okay. 
Yeah, maybe we talk to your dad. Okay, well, I'm honest, so I'm an open book. You might as well ask me anything you want. Yeah, what happened have... to the boy? Do you keep him in the know. basement? I don't have a basement. You is, that, is that where you keep the boy? <laughs> if I had a boy and I'd kidnapped him, I wouldn't have done either of the above. And I also don't have a basement, so zero for three there, I'm afraid. I know, but what are people saying, though? You know what people are saying. Come on. What are... I, that's what I'm curious about, because you haven't told me what people are saying. Sarah, come on. I've been honest with you. This is an honest pregnancy, so you know I'm not lying. I know you're being so you honest. That's know. why I'm telling you. What is the rumors? What is the oh, scuttlebutt? You want me to tell you <laughs> what the rumors are? Yeah, what is the rumors around town? Come oh, on. I thought you. I thought it sounded like you wanted me to tell you a secret I didn't know. Um, the the rumors. Are, no, there aren't any rumors. It's just a case of Kinray, unfortunately, has gone missing. Hmm. I wasn't Can you describe there. the child? How does he look? Uh, small. About half your size, a lot smaller. Child size. Nine or ten of age. Dark hair. Like his mother. Sarah. Like a kid. Look. As official investigators into the missing uh, kimchi, it's up to us to decide who is guilty. And right now, I don't want to say anything for sure, but if I had to point a finger at somebody, I'm just saying, sir, it's not looking good for you. That baby might grow up without a mother if we don't know anything. That's a shame. I've told you everything I know, and I'm an innocent and honest person. Okay, I hope that's true, Kimchi. Okay, where's your uh, daddy? Father, there are some guests I, I think want to speak to you. And um, you hear this kind of... <laughs> you hear him before you see him just grumbling like, oh, oh, do they want? And he comes to the door. Uh, similarly... Very bold, very much balding, but same, very kind of light ginger hair. Um, very frail ginger hair, but where his hair is frail, his body is not. He is six foot something. He's aging a bit, but he's still got a lot of natural strength to him. Does he look like he could kidnap a baby? Um, he looks like he could kidnap you. Um, okay. maybe rip a All couple right. of fingers off with his teeth. Yeah. He's, Clearly he's suspect a number one. Meat. Bit of a mean looking sod. Alright, what do you want? You know what we're here for, sir. I am. And over the child, blue. and we will go in peace. <coughs> I do not have the child. But you know what happened to him. I don't. He went missing. You know it's... what people are saying, though. What are people saying? <laughs> Come on, sir. You tell us what people are saying. You know. I know you but know. They said, like, you know what people are saying, but they want you to tell them what you've heard. <laughs> yeah, have you never been town? interrogated before? My God. Oh, God. Mr. Adams, this is not looking good for you. Michael, tell us the truth. <laughs> you will refer to me as Mr. Owlsley, or you will get the fuck off my property. Okay. For even beginning to accuse me of stealing that child, or doing something to him. Look, we gotta open up every door, and right now the door in front of me says Michael Adams might have kidnapped this kid. Now, if you, you have see, another door... You see Sarah just blending backwards into the shadows of the house. <laughs> She's like, my work here is done. <laughs> Do you have you another escape? door, perhaps, that you know about? Maybe some rumors you hear about the missing baby, Kimchi? 
I have not heard anything about rumours, but if you've heard rumours, no doubt you've heard them from Mrs. Bloom. Mrs. who? Bloom. Suspect number one, okay. We've got everything Mrs. we Bloom. need from here, Tarquin. This Mrs. Right. Bloom, where can we find her? Points to the furthest house on the edge of town. Well, that's where the truth is. And if I were you, I'd be a lot friendlier to the people here. Why, are they murderers or something? Kidnappers, well, perhaps? There might well be, but we are a unit. And if one of us gets fucked with, we'll all go on the defensive. Well, You're seems, all going to get fucked with. Seems like one of you got kidnapped and nobody seems to give a shit. Let's go out of here, Tarquin. <laughs> Slams uh, yeah. the door behind you. Just... <laughs> that was a very successful interrogation. <laughs> we're, we're good at our job. <laughs> My God, we should have done Jesus. this a long time ago. <laughs> In, oh interviewed two out of the four inhabitants of that house. Um, <laughs> if you can call that an interrogation. All right, cutting back to Team Corn Beef. Holy oh, it's zoo now. Holy. Um. <laughs> After Lost. speaking with the dog, with lovely Fergus, oh, shit. you would um, <laughs> you would know that Fergus has mentioned the suspicious noises and smells coming from uh, the Owlsleys and Fearheart's house, uh, which mm -hmm. you see um, you see Luto and Tarquin begin to walk away from, and the door behind them slam. <laughs> <laughs> and then we high five right outside the door. <laughs> <laughs> You they can make eye contact with them. You see, you all see each other. <laughs> I stare. Give, give them a thumbs up or thumbs down, kind of. Yes, no. No, kid. Uh, okay. <laughs> Should we uh, double check or start somewhere else? I will stare and then immediately about face and start walking away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where would you like to go next? Um, Camellia, should butcher, we start so from people. the edge and work in or go out? Like, should we start at Dee Dee's or Bloom's? And remember, uh, Felici is suspicious about West End. We could also check that, that out when we go to Bloom's. I think Bloom, if she's kind of sus about that. Ooh. Okay, so we'll start at the edge and work our way into town. <laughs> Okay. As you approach the Bloom's house, you do smell um, the scent of your kind of regular butchers. Not quite as pungent, but the kind of raw, bloody meat smell. Um, and also a smell of fresh fish. Fresh fish. Get your mouth around that. Blah, blah, blah. Um, smell of fresh fish. <laughs> and, uh, Is that river all that's around here? Um, in the nearby vicinity, yeah. It goes up north into the forest, but it weaves around through the Thiak Dien's forest. Cool. Um, and you assume there must be a fisherman in town, for there are fish in the fish Um, mm -hmm. you haven't seen any livestock, though, but maybe there's a reason for that. <laughs> because it's all being sold. I'm um, just wondering if there's a fishing minigame now. Not much. <laughs> There's always the option for fishing. Yeah. Um, as long as you have a rod. It's the best campaign. Or an equivalent. <laughs> now we're just gonna use our hands. I did. I did find the <laughs> fishing playlist compilation of video game music. For Faye, we day. just dip our head in the water. <laughs> just catch it with your teeth. <laughs> um, but you see behind the counter, um, this slightly larger woman, a very rosy cheek, friendly. Um, has quite dark hair again, kind of tied up behind her, sweating a bit from uh, working out and bringing stock to the front of the, uh, not shop, shop, it's more of an exchange again than a shop. Um, and you see kind of in the back, well, you hear stuff happening in the back and as you enter, she just goes, Brad! Shut up! I'm trying to work! Bloody hell. Oh, hello. You them, uh, venturing types, yeah? 
I'll let you take this one, Camilla. Um, okay. Yes, uh, we were sent by the Adventuring Guild to look for a Kinry. Are you a and deer? We... I, yes. She is a deer. Oh, wait till you meet her. This mm -hmm. is Camellia. I'm Bifon. Uh, this is Winnie. Holds up tiny Winnie. <laughs> oh, I can cook that for you if you want. No! No thanks, uh, already ate. Well, uh, if you need any more meat or fish, we've got some hair and some... some uh, fish here, if you want them. But, uh, um, Effie Bloom. Out back there making a ruckus is Brad, my kid. Uh, how can we be of service? And uh, no, we don't know where the kid is. Uh, have you seen anything or experienced anything kind of weird happening in the village around the time of his disappearance? Oh, weird. Everything is weird. Have you met this lot? Bananas, a lot of them. You know, a couple weeks ago, not even, that Jonas moved in with the uh, with the Owlsleys. Oh, Grenfell loved that, didn't he? Not sure if it's because he's an half elf or uh, if because uh, he had better ideas for what Sarah should be doing. Obviously, with the kid on the way, it's also quite obvious as to why they're getting married, you know? Uh, other than that, the building's going real freaking slow. Wish it would go a bit faster. Mm. But uh. nothing concerning why a kid would go missing. If that's what you want about. Uh, has there been anybody new aside from Jonas around here? And how recently has Jonas uh, moved in? Uh, a couple of weeks ago or so. Uh, no one else has been new recently. Just the same old usual stuff. Drama at the Owlsleys. Just very, ew, we're very polite at the Moss Waters. Except that little Kinry. I'm not saying it's good he's gone, but my hair, I am a lot less stressed. There's a lot less issues going on out here. Tell you. And no, Live here long? Doesn't make me a murderer. All my life. Unfortunately. But. Better the devil you know, innit? I don't know. Sounds like you should move. Mm. No one here really moves. Kind of. People just settle here. In every respect of the word. Has anyone recently ever left? Well, Sarah left briefly. Thought she was gone for good. Then she brought Jonas back with her, so. Another mouth to feed, isn't it? Hmm. Well, it should be good for you, right? How is business? In a small town like this? Oh, it's not really business. It's just a favour to keep everything going. You hope that, you know, people chuck in an extra something for your effort, but... Just the bare minimum. Oh, I'll have one of your fish for one of my cabbages. It's like... It's not exactly a... Merchant skilled out here, but... Not really much to unionize with, but mm. people need I food. See. True, true. God knows that Rihanna hasn't got an ounce of merchant in him anyway. Rihanna? Oh, yeah, I met him yet. Oh, gorgeous fellow. Um, you can't tell if she's being sarcastic there or not. <laughs> yeah, gorgeous General insight. <laughs> you certainly can. <laughs> He's the ginger bloke that lives next door, Rianne Frostel. He's the uh, local fisherman. Mm. He provides me with the fish. I give him 
some meat, cook it up for him. But mm -hmm. Got a if he tried to, Ooh. Uh, she was trying to come off as sarcastic. Mm -hmm. But there's some. There was some kind of. There was a smirk at the corner of her mouth as she said it. It was, seemed genuine. And, uh, yeah, he, he could set up shop on his own, but he can't exchange nothing. He'd be asking too much or too little, wouldn't he? It's like, all right, what, what, what will you give me for these three fish? And it's like, your house. Can't do that, man, you know. It's a right character, that Frostal. Absolute bastard, though. I'll have fun talking with him. How about your son? <clears throat> oh, Brad? Yes. Brad? Yeah? Did you kill Kinry? No! That's not... Didn't do I... it. Thank you. <clears throat> no problem. Who would you say runs this town? Does anyone run this town? I'd like to think myself for uh, Rian, maybe. About Brenfa probably truly believes it the most. And if nothing else, everyone likes to try and keep him informed because he's the first one that will blow up if you don't. So, uh, pseudo leader, I suppose. But he's not really a leader because he'd exiled Jonas, I think, if he had any say in it. Hmm. You should probably try to talk to them after. Not immediately after, but I, I don't know what info be, uh, Ludo and Tarquin got from them. It's sure thing. He, yeah, you mentioned them quite a bit. Um, what are your thoughts on Sarah? And or Jonas. See a welcome addition to the town. Um, she holds up the hair that she's been like skinning and trimming for meat this entire time. Fuck Beautiful. more than these bloody things, isn't it? Lewd, if you ask me. Lewd. All right. He's not the. Father, is he? Huh. If you ask me. Well, you me, said he only arrived recently, a couple weeks ago. If you ask me. Well, she came back with the ring on. Mm. So, if you ask me. They uh, went at it a little bit too early, didn't they? And then just to really make sure Grenfell didn't murder them both. Proposed and. Moved in, I guess. So he's not necessarily the most welcome addition to the town. How do the others uh, think of him? Oh, some of them, the um, Meglin and Tommy can't get enough of him. They're like, oh, he's so interesting. Oh, he's got so many <laughs> cool things going on. Absolute bollocks, that. He is kind of cool, Mum. Shut up, Brad! Do your own work! Yeah, uh, what, it's not interesting. What does Jonas do? Does he have a job around the village? Fuck if I know. Just causes everyone an headache and a nuisance in it. Took over from where Kinry left off in that regard. Rest his soul. If he's not, you know, just missing. Who knows? No kid should have to go through that either way. Hmm. We'll assume the best for now. And do if you want to get disappointed, I suppose. Mm. Alright, well, you know where we are if you need anything. Don't feel like you have to, though. Uh, one last thing. You, mm. um... Notice anything odd in the woods? Oh, there's all sorts of weird fucking shit out there. You're, you've Nothing. got... 
mm-hmm. your adventuring types have got weapons though in it. We do better than us. We just go as we far like out as we can catch into. hairs. Well, I know for sure there are hairs. Sometimes rabbits. Glowing eyes oh. that go boo in the night. <laughs> the eerie moans of the lost undead. I don't fucking know. Can I roll the insight? <laughs> yeah, absolutely can. What is- Looking to see what's on her mind right now. And okay. she's thinking with a lovely 13. She does seem a bit distracted from mm. the story of ghouls and monsters she's weaving. Her eyes kind of drifting towards Frost's, Frostal, Brianna Frostal's house. That was actually going to be my last question. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> Who you lives do... over there? Those two houses. Well, the one behind me, kinda. That's Masterson and Ritley's houses. They've just got little fucking huts and shit. Probably think the building they're building is uh, for them. It's not. Uh, and then next door to me is Frostal. Mr. Frostal. Mm. Um... Beyond that, DD's, you've got the DD's his house, Mosswaters, Owlsley, Grass Beams, Building Site, Well, Campfire, River, Woods, Forest, Stream, Forest, Woods. Salmon. Do you have any more questions, Camelia? <laughs> I, I think we're good. If we have anything, anything else, I'll. We know where to find you, like you said. Thank oh, you. Don't feel like you have to, though, isn't it? All right. <laughs> Catch you later. Or not. Brad, what the That's fuck the are British you actually thing I've doing? Ever heard you say. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't feel like you have to. Uh, we going to go back to, to the boys, or we're going to check out the forest real quick? Up to your DM. Hey? Oh, <laughs> we were gonna just check the forest real quick, unless you'd like to go I thought, back. I thought to... you, were, you you were speaking about what uh, corn beef was gonna do. No, we shall return to uh, breakfast ta- tacos. All right. Dare I ask? All right. <laughs> we'll fuck this town up. <laughs> it is beginning to get a little bit. Dusky, a little bit dark. Perfect time for rumors. Rumors. <laughs> so we head to. Looks like um. Blue. The grass beam house. Oh, uh, the first house, yes. blue mouse. Okay. And you were also heading to the blue mouse. <laughs> oh, yes, that, that's where. Cares. That's what they told us. That that's where Grendel. You guys are going clockwise, so the next would be the grass beam and the building site. <laughs> oh, okay. In case you want oh, to yeah. talk to the guys we met when we came in. But the lady told us to go to the Bloom's house. Right. Is that where y'all are <laughs> heading next to? <laughs> that's where we are right that's now. Where we, we just were there. <laughs> okay. In that case, uh, I mean, if you would we... like to just stick with us as we split up. You could do that. It's up to you. <laughs> yeah. So you would, you would uh, leave the owls in fear hearts. See, eventually that uh, <laughs> the other two have just gone into the Bloom's house. Where would you like to go next? <laughs> oh, so you guys are leaving there now. You guys just finished there. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh no! I thought. We were going to find some very nasty stuff there. Okay. All right. Well, we'll go to this grass beam house then. Grass Since beam. It's... What can go wrong? <laughs> yeah. I love this. You see us, and then you do immediate 180. If we see you guys <laughs> going out or coming, are you going in or going out when we see you? We're probably um, at leaving, the, I guess. At the I time... No, at the time, okay. at the time of, because uh, you will have just left the Owlsley's house. 
and they will mm. have just finished speaking to the dog. So they're going mm, sure. up to the blooms and butchers. So okay, so it's a it's a bit of a time travel, approach but the bloom, yeah. Uh, from across the way, we would have like I would probably Luda would have yelled, "Oh, they did it!" <laughs> and pointing at the house you're about to go in. <laughs> but yeah, now we'll go to grass beams. Good job. Um, as as you're about as you like are about to turn around, um, you do see, um. It's kind of a uh, tall, tall, dark, and handsome man um, with quite curly black hair, um, just kind of just leaving his house. Um, and he <laughs> turns to see you just yell, They did it! Um, and he's kind of just paused as he's closing the door behind him. Hello, sir. Are you in a hurry? Hey, yeah, trying uh, to leave the scene of the crime, huh? Um, I mean, it's getting dark, uh, so it's easier to blend in the shadows. I probably understand. a pretty good time to go kidnapping kids, actually. Or hiding mm. bodies. No, I was just gonna go check on progress on the building site. Uh, and what is your name, perchance? Horace Grasbeam. A likely story. And where were you the night of the kidnapping of Kimchi Grosswater? Have you guys got like your adventuring guild passes? Licenses? As a matter of fact, we do. Do we have them? <laughs> do you have the paperwork? I'm just yeah, gonna probably. show him a coin, that's all. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, you take out the paperwork and it does show um, a list of names. Uh, and you two are... Heroes here to find the missing child. N n no, um, I assume one of you is either Luto, Umbelai, Tarquin, uh, Camellia, Bifon. So you've heard of us. He just hands you back the <laughs> license pointedly. Yes, don't worry. I am Bifon, this is Camilla, and we are here to ask you questions. So, can you please tell us where you keep the child? I am stupid. Okay. And new. <laughs> He's going to do an inside check. <laughs> um... Strange question. Do either of you smell like drugs? <laughs> oh. Or alcohol? Um. Are you a cop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat question. Well, he back did at just you, check actually. their license. <laughs> he just did check their licenses. Do we do we smell like? No, probably not. I probably smell like uh, baked baked goods. Because I have some on me. Okay, because no one ever puts drugs in baked goods. Okay. <laughs> oh, you can you can smell a weed brownie. Weed brownies stink. This is this is true. Um, you haven't made anything okay. poppy seed recently, have you? <laughs> he'll he'll kind of have a small sniff and go. Okay, well, um, what was it? I'm sorry. What was your name? He looks to Tarquin again. I am beef on the stairs. I am Camellia and I smell like Camellia. mud all the time. Fuck. <laughs> right. Well, <laughs> beef on Camellia. It's my name. <laughs> to the outside audience, he fully fucking knows they're up to some shit. <laughs> he got a 19 on his inside. Um. If you would like to investigate my house for the missing child who is not in there and is very unfortunately not in town as far as I know, you are welcome to. I've seen your license, I can tell you are official. Um, should anything be, you know, for any reason not above board. Um... I believe the guild halls of Ninut are your superiors, correct? 
What yes. do you... What would you say you do here, Horatio? I am the lead building manager, Camellia. And, uh... Tell us what you've heard about the missing boy. What everyone else has heard is that he's tragically missing. Yes, yes, of no course. That's of what they're saying. Town. That's what they're saying above the board. But you, as someone who clearly dwells in the underground of this uh, fine village and uh, hangs with the seedy, dangerous types, you know what they're whispering about behind closed doors. What, what are they saying? You mean Vic and Yorv? Exactly that. The buck, buck, bacon York. He kind of looks over your shoulders towards Vic and Yorf who are working at the building site. Just, hey, you guys talk to these two? And they go, yeah, why? No reason. <sighs> there aren't rumors of anything except for a strange group going around accusing people of doing weird interviews oh really what can you tell us about this strange group well um oh, wait hang on luto who's who's that He's like squinting so hard at you right now. <laughs> it's a pretty handsome name. I bet it is. Um, look, I don't know anything. None of us know anything, as far as I know. Okay, well, uh, okay, look, okay, look. I am sorry, okay? But we gotta find something, man. Nobody here knows anything. Like, come Why on, do you what think are... we hired adventurers to do it? Okay. If well, any of us in town knew anything, we'd pursue it. <laughs> when people go missing, what happens usually? It's wolves, some kind of Why not, man? giant mosquito, maybe pulled away, well, put the eggs in the belly. What is it? Well, Meglin said that Henry was always talking about having seen a wolf, but we all just came to know that that was nonsense and there wasn't ever a wolf around. He even admitted it. Are there wolves in this forest? Not that I know of. It's possible it's a forest. There are wolves in this continent, in this region. Or people can turn in into wolves. Forests? I don't know. I am Camellia. My hair is always full of bugs and I can turn into any animal I want. Isn't that something I do, Darkman? Yes, of course. So there you are many can possibilities turn, here. So you can turn into a werewolf. So maybe somebody, is what I'm saying, turn into a wolf, they trick the boy, go into the forest, kidnap him, giant mosquito put eggs in his belly, maybe that. Did... Did you kidnap Henry? Why would he kidnap him if he were looking for him? Well, he had you... an entire plan. Are you accusing Are you me, mosquitoes over there? Camellia Mudhair, accusing... of kidnapping a child? I'm not accusing you, I'm just saying the circumstances and plot you just laid out are pretty convincing. Well, maybe that's what happened. So you don't know anything. You don't know any rumors, nothing. It's getting dark. You're hungry. I've told you all I know. I know that's why I'm leaving my house, actually, is to help with the food preparation. Oh, I can help with food preparation. I'm a pretty good cook. Can I do an um, insight on this guy? See if he's hiding anything? Yeah, you certainly can. He will do the same to you, though. <laughs> 21! <laughs> um... When he mentioned Meglin the school school mistress uh he did his his eyes lit up a little bit like the way when ludo talks about um the fly meglin that's the pregnant lady yes. no who's meglin have we met meglin <laughs> not yet 
Okay. She's at the schoolhouse. Um, Meglin Didis. Um, okay. You would also see he has a slight wound on his neck, kind of hidden by the top of his shirt. Where'd you get that, buddy? Oh, <laughs> construction. Seems like the perfect angle at which a kid with a sword might strike you while they're trying to defend themselves from being kidnapped. Purely uh -oh. coincidental. It's also the same angle at which a beam would fall from an unstable pillar on a house construction. Dang it. I will a 10 inside to see if he's lying. I want to see if he's lying. Yeah, get okay. him, Tarquin. <laughs> a 10 uh, gets get you. Oh. Thir 13. Ooh. Okay. A 13 uh, gets you. Um, house could do that. That is a plausible reason to be injured. It's not the only reason to be injured that way, but you don't see... Oh, we think there's, he's not there's lying. There's no other, like, solid... There's no other solid evidence around here that it would be anything other than building site. And building accidents are very, very frequent. The big cities have lawyers for that shit. Mm. <laughs> I'll look at Tarquin and kind of mind meld with a sec for him with a second and kind of see where we where we stand on this guy. Can you do that? Do you yep. have <laughs> kind of, we, we speak <laughs> As, oh my god. Uh, we, we've been friends for ages. Look, man, he, literally he's decades warm. and decades. You can't just, you can't just try pull a seats. fast one like that over on me because I almost was just like, yeah, sure. Get we have been together a... for more than 20 episodes. Yeah. And we're level six. We have a mind connection. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I look at I look at Tarquin, he looks at me, and we immediately hey, both wait, know. Wait, 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 wait. Ludo? Yeah. Um, um Roll a religion check for me, please. Religion check. Um, Tarquin, you feel something weird in your brain. You do not oh, know what 19. Would you like to roll a wisdom saving throw? Or yes. DC 19. <laughs> DC 19. No, wisdom I'm not going to resist. Nice. That's my boy right okay. there. You see Ludo look like he's about to just fart, and you're just like, okay, I'm going to roll with this. <laughs> um, Ludo, you suddenly see yourself kind of off oh, into the sky, into the clouds. Small Ooh. droplet of rain once again. Beautiful. And you, and you hear, I'll make an exception. Oh, thanks. <sighs> suddenly, you are looking at yourself. Oh, handsome. Um, your yourself is um eyes are open, mouth is agape, drool coming out. Um, <laughs> Horace looks slightly concerned, um, which is an understatement. Uh, you are in Tarkin. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. I'm just smiling and giving a thumbs up to the in invisible camera. <laughs> All right. I uh, immediately flex my muscles. Sight jacking, if you know what I mean. Mm. I immediately extend my senses throughout all my body and am deeply impressed with what I find. You <laughs> 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 know what I mean? It's pretty good. There's a reason he's a legend. <laughs> <laughs> then I turn not, to. What do you mean? Don't ruin it for him. <laughs> Roll a wisdom saving throw for me, please, Luto. Oh no. no this is no. This just got interesting. <laughs> Twenty-three. <laughs> this is crazy. I love this. This is how we do it. Oh shit! The music change. Not the music change. <laughs> you feel each and every one of 
Tarquin's achievements as if they are your own. I'm a legend. You, you are Tarquin, the hero. The guy who drove a ship through the Kraken. Oh, the guy shit. that fought the ice giants. Killed the basilisk in Ashka. Oh, shit. Yeah, I wrote all those other things down. Motherfucker. <laughs> I feel this way of irrepressible memories of all these other adventures, all these other achievements. Make a history or perception check for me, please. Okay. My history is butts, so I'll give you perception. Hey, JC, don't you love it when you try and do a stupid thing? This is why we do it. <laughs> bad, bad decisions make good stories. This is a 10. <laughs> okay. You see just all across the world. Tarquin has been and done so many things. The memory is all just merging into one unified heroic experience how do you feel i feel um i have no sense of ludo anymore i'm entirely tarquin there is a smidge of you left but very much as an outside observer of this okay well ludo is deeply impressed and also also he knew he knew this is just confirmation of what he already knew uh tarquin is feeling fucking great like he's the king of the world he did everything and everything and there's it is ridiculous that people don't know who i am it's a, it's a damn shame i've saved the world countless times and uh, the fact that these peons, these minions, don't know who I am is frankly appalling. It is a, it is a shame the state our world is in, that people don't recognize immediately and fall to their feet, fall to their knees at the sight of the illustrious, legendary, uh, vast and amazing Tarquin. I was so waiting for you to end that sentence with Balantis and I was going to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> As the memories... I took uh, Ludo's mouth closed. It, it just... Uh, it just... <laughs> is loose. As these memories become more recent, more familiar to Ludo, who's almost kind of in the... Um, in the operating room theater, like the part where they're watching the shit go down rather than the actual area of moment of happening, which is all very much inside Tarquin's psyche. You see meeting at Ash Sky, you see doing the trials, you see all of that success, you see the frustrations of people not knowing who you are. You feel though a drop of doubt a drop of not knowing and that drop falls bigger and bigger and bigger and while there are still small islands of these really heroic achievements the doubt and the insecurity is rising. It culminates with something you didn't see, Buto didn't see, with the card reading at the brothel. What's the that? The truth feeling that nothing is as it seems. 
and all of these islands of memories are merely reflections of a different life. And there is no island of who Tarquin is. As you slowly slip from Tarquin's mind and body, having communicated what it is you want to to his mind, and return to your own, there is a small fading between seeing the last moments of Tarquin's id and personality and lack thereof feeling like he knows who he is, truly. And as you return to yours, you see your island large and bountiful, marred with scars and traumas and difficulties. You see umber eyes joined, adjacent, beautiful. You see one for friends, you see one for the entire group. And you see the memories much further out, like a periphery, rather than a central concept. And as you feel back into your own body, into your own space, roll another wisdom saving throw for me, please. Okay. Can I, as I'm doing all this and seeing all this, can I throw out a little... Thank you, yeah, SMIC. Of course. And you can also throw out to Tarquin the message you wanted to <laughs> mind meld to him. Oh, yeah. You think this guy did it or what? <laughs> yeah, all we should that. be success. <laughs> it should be success. Yeah, Tarquin, you come back to yourself just like you took a long blink nothing particularly off um, number t i got a 23 again <gasps> and you will remember the entirety of what you just saw oh. that was gonna be the kicker if you rolled low you weren't remembering shit i see okay Ooh, mama there's some spicy 23s and on that note we're gonna remember to take a little break Ooh, oh dang! Such horrible timing, you. <laughs> <laughs> what an interesting moment. Yeah, what? sorry, Dime, I this had to do it. This campaign is fucking sexy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I. When I'm I... fucking tearing. This is Jesus <gasps> Christ. Yay! Are we gonna? I don't know if y'all. That's some have... good shit. <laughs> 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 oh, no, I'm gonna cry, but <laughs> nobody does it like he. Nobody does it like he. Oh, How? Thank you guys. Oh, thank you. I'm glad that worked out because I, I had to make that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> you ask weird fucking questions, you'll get a, you'll get an answer. SMX pretty cool, you guys. I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I know he's gonna throw it in our face now. <laughs> <laughs> sight, sight Jack yeah. Jabro learned a little bit too much. <laughs> before the Shit. before the session, I, baggage. Before the session, I said to Darian, I was like, hey, we're going to learn all about your backstory today. And Darian said, I'm not saying shit. <laughs> and Key said, I need to You fucking have to. <laughs> you don't have to say anything. <laughs> JC when took that fucking shit to heart. When you say nothing at all. <laughs> oh. mm. Well, okay. I didn't, Crazy. honestly, I didn't think there'd be backstory shit today, but. You know, sometimes as a DM, you're proven beautifully wrong. And we will see you in 10 to 15 minutes. Get some snacks, get some drinks, let us know what you get. Uh, feel free to scream and chat. If you have any questions, I'll be here. Uh, if you need therapy, we can't help, sorry, but fair. Um, <laughs> and we will see you shortly.
for more mystery. Ooh. We're gonna beat up this guy. Definitely. Which guy? Horace? Yeah. All of he, them. I mean, he Why? did it. He did it. He did? I mean, that's what Darian said. <laughs> <laughs>
and we're back. Walk away! Oh no, I accidentally deafened myself. Whee! That was a really chill pre break moment, I think. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Very chill. Very, very relaxing. Yeah. Tarkin was totally there the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Blink, blink. Why why is Ludo drawing a bit now? Anyway. <laughs> uh, Queen. But yes. Darkwing. Yes. I, I was just like in your uh, brain. Uh, what? Yeah, his face went really just like just drooly and open for a sec. I don't know what happened. Um, also, Did you feel me in your uh, brain? No, it was just a... I don't know, it was a strange, but uh, everything seems normal now. Oh, I saw inside your you brain. Uh, it is so nice in there, bro. High five. Goes up for the high five. High five. You got a nice How brain. How did it feel? Oh I my god, to, to me, so... you even just for a second. Oh my god, everything you've done, everything you did, why? Oh my god. The, uh, H Horgel, do you even know who this is in standing in front of you? I guess that's Tarquin. That's B Beefald. No, Be you just called him Tarquin. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm Camellia, and I like the smell of my hooves. During Come my free on. time, I just smell them nonstop. I uh, we're, we're, to inform oh. you, you don't have hooves. I'm sorry. You don't know that. Okay, we're done here. Thank you. You <laughs> didn't take the baby. This is not. This is not your new catchphrase. I won't allow it. <laughs> <laughs> this is not. No. Just remember, <laughs> I'm Camellia. I like to smell between my hooves all the time. I hate it here. <sighs> okay, I assume Luto. No. <laughs> and then he runs away. <laughs> <laughs> bye. B bye. Uh, at this point, you see, um, <laughs> you see. Jesus. You see Corn Beef come out of the, uh, of the Bloom's house. cursed <laughs> so i guess we call ac across the middle of the town any luck <laughs> well we got info but we don't still don't know where he is yeah we didn't really find anything this guy is a weirdo but i don't think he took the baby he's I'm not a baby. still here <laughs> See, he's guys... a weirdo. He's hearing other people's conversation. So <laughs> listening in, very criminal behavior. I thought you well, said you that other said guy did to... it. Maybe. Somebody, somebody okay. did it. Um, probably. You guys hear anything about a wolf? No. Look into that. Maybe it's some kind of wolf thing. Good job, Luto and Tarquin. What? Carry on. High five Tarquin again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cutting back to the team corned beef. <laughs> Such a great For job. <laughs> I don't think they have anything. See you. Yeah, why did they call us their name? The less we know, the better. Mm. You, see, you see the uh, guy they were just talking you to is uh, coming over uh, towards the... Um, blue. Hi. Um, it looks to Camellia's hooves. I assume you're Camellia. Uh, yes. Might want to check on your friend. He's 
spreading weird rumors about your smells. You really don't smell what? that bad, actually. <laughs> what? She'll grab some of her hair and sniff it. <laughs> it smells fine. It smells like flowers. Nature. I, I took a shower before this. <laughs> okay. Uh, what did our friend ask you? Um, well, there was a lot of accusing and finger pointing, and then one of them looked like they died on the inside, and then they uh, came back to and were talking about going inside each other's brains, and then they just kind of left. Uh, I'm Horace, by the way. Pleasure to meet you both. Thank you, and sorry about them. Uh, be fun. Yeah. Should we go to another house or should we meet up with the others? Let's uh, check out the edge of the forest real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you again, Horace. Um, no worries. Um, if you have any questions, just make sure it's you two that come and ask. <laughs> kind of goes into the Bloom's house. <laughs> right, what are we cooking today? Oh, thank God, you call this time! <laughs> they carry on their rambles. They are heading to the edge of the forest. Yeah, where uh, Felicity was saying it felt kind of weird. Um, She was mainly just referring to these kind of four houses. Um, around this area, so the Bloom Butchers, Master. Oh, not the just the west side of town, not the west yeah. side. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, okay. she was trying to not mention people, but she, she was uh... specifically trying to mention people specifically. Effie. Dang! Even in a town this small, they still got the left versus the right. That's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> Can't nobody get along. <laughs> So I think I will uh, just throw a little detect magic out there. See if I notice anything around these four houses. Okay. Ritley's, Masterson's, Frostles, and Booms. You... You sense... Some... Magic? It's oh. kind of all over the place. Hmm. That's it. That's it. It's not necessarily concentrated over here, and of course I can't tell where it's coming from. Nope. May I run an arcane track? With the help of my face sister over here. You sure can. Oh. I'm picking up something. I don't know what it is. Mm. But kind of weird there'd be magic in such a small human town. Yeah. It's my ominous music. I want to believe. <laughs> Unfortunately, with the one... I got you. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> nine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> two and a nine. <sighs> Man, well, whatever these humans are casting is weak as shit. <laughs> it's not like proper fame. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing else you can particularly discern, unfortunately. Maybe it's because mm. it's not strong. Maybe because it is meant to be hidden. You just you can't tell, unfortunately. Mm. Good, good shout. Is it dark yet? It is soon. It will be within the next few minutes. Let's go to Didi. Okay. Oh, we were going to go there, too. 
That's okay. right. You I can we'll meet, meet up there. Mm-hmm. Nice. Let's go see you some will, titties. You will get to the <laughs> 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 Okay, I wasn't the only one that thought that. <laughs> I can only blame my subconscious because I wish I was that smart to try and get titty buns in. I wouldn't say it's um... smart. <laughs> <laughs> What's what's not smart about it? No, I'm saying I don't, I don't, I don't think puns? I don't think it requires smart to <laughs> detect titty puns. <laughs> I think it <laughs> it's something. Look, I don't I'm, know what it is, I'm but it's something else. In titty puns, if I'm putting in titty puns, they're gonna be subtle as fuck. So <laughs> 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 it's gonna be a whole puzzle. Um, it's but yes, ode. you all kind of it's um... to me titties. <laughs> I know that's not how you pronounce that, but it was great. <laughs> you, you all uh, find yourselves outside um, the schoolhouse. Um, the entirety of the breakfast club reunited. Kind of like, oh, you guys are here. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, how'd it go? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, we picked up a lot of solid information, and uh, I don't know about you guys, but I find it interesting that I'm detecting magic in this town. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, what did you guys find out? Well, we found several people who <laughs> obviously did it, she but also, optimism. Uh, we found out that the kid was talking about a wolf. Oh. He said uh, he's been seeing a wolf, even though later on he admitted to making it up. So either there's some kind of magic wolf, somebody turned into a wolf, or I don't know. Maybe he's being possessed by some kind of wolf. Hmm. Any mix of those? (laughs) Something something (laughs) wolf, just wolf. If you hear, if you see wolf, if you hear wolf, something wolf. Mm-hmm. Well, Ludo, you do know that there is a wolfhound in town. You all know that there's a wolfhound in town. Yeah, but you guys already interrogated him, right? Well, everybody but me. Hmm. Was that what that is? Yeah, apparently he was telling uh, Horgul about he saw a wolf and then later on the kid admitted Horgul? that he he made up the wolf. <laughs> I have to actively think of ways to mess up the names that I actually do remember. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, one day we're going to get you a ring of plus six intelligence and it's going to be beautiful. I'll throw it in Mount Doom. Oh, oh God, we'll <laughs> never hear the end of it. <laughs> Oh, also Horus, mm. he likes this lady. Which, oh, yeah? Yeah, Which the, lady? the one here in the school we're about to go. He likes that lady. Oh. Yeah, there seems to be a bit of that. We picked up a little something from the Blooms. Apparently, Rian's the fisherman around here. Also, um, Sarah went off at some point in came back with uh, a Jonas. I think that's the father of her child. Have you met Sarah? I know you guys were over there. Yeah, she said the Blooms are uh, the ones making up all the rumors. We were going to go there, but then you're already there. So yeah, that's why we said they did it. Remember, yeah, you hear me, Dad? Oh. <laughs> they did it. Hmm. Somebody did it. I love how when Tarquin was with Alora, they were like the smartest heist team that ever heisted. <laughs> and then Ludo and Tarquin get together and it's just just not the same. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a bad influence on our silver haired baby. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys meet Grenfer? The dad, yeah. He give up any good information? Uh, what'd he say? Yeah, he said that the blooms are always making up rumors. He's the one who said that. 
and he told us to leave the house. Very suspicious. Oh. Really? Hmm. What preceded that? It's very angry, you know? We're just in there asking questions like we're supposed to. We get very mad. Uh-huh. What questions did you ask? <laughs> like, uh, what kind of rumors have they heard about the missing child? Mm-hmm. Who did I'm it? I'm gonna need you to roll a deception <laughs> check for me, please. <laughs> I mean, is it lying DM? when that's what you think happened? DM, it's in, it's I'd like to challenge a... that. <laughs> okay. I think Ludo believes what he's saying. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, that... roll, a, I'll, I'll roll, roll a, a... I'll roll a persuasion check. <laughs> yeah, roll, roll a persuasion check. I'll uh, grant it. Uh, with a persuasion, will... that would be a 12. I will not defend. <laughs> I, he believes it, Just so I believe it. On, on his natural, in his natural way of telling you these questions, um, what are your passive insights, actually? <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough, yeah. Uh, I actually do have a bonus Look, passive insight. You, if Beefon proactively wants to believe something, that's fine. <laughs> But we need to know if he canonically knows it. <laughs> I, In his heart, I have heart. to. Okay, I <laughs> because my insight is strong. I do have to detect something. I was willing to believe my friend and the way he pitched it to me. It sounded legit, <laughs> but maybe. Okay, I'll. What, what do you want me to roll against that? What, um, insight or something? So, what is your? Pa <laughs> I believe you've got passive, passive insight. Passive insight sixteen. Yep. Um, Camille. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What's your passive insight? 14. Okay. So, if you want to believe Luto, you you can go with that route, but in your deepest heart of hearts, something fishy. <laughs> yeah. You, you know Luto something. tells a very... His there, truth is very colorful. It's a very specific truth. Very There's limited. nothing I can derive from that. True. That's the thing. He said the thing that he said. It's not that I believe him. It's that <laughs> I don't have anything to prove him wrong. And that's valid. I can only that's just. Valid. I can only keep asking him, "What did you say?" And he'll keep telling no, me the truth. The the role was just for what you know in your heart of hearts. How you respond <laughs> is entirely up to you. <laughs> I, mean, I think everyone, audience included, knows that. Uh... <laughs> I roll bombastic side eye. Uh. That's what. I'm <laughs> Intimidation check? <laughs> you can roll intimidation. Sure, sure, to. sure. <laughs> that, uh, is, I rolled an eight. I'm just gonna, just gonna stare at him. Um, Beefon is mad, question mark, but maybe disappointed. For what? I told him what I we learned. <laughs> that is, that is for Beefon to know and... I want to believe skeptical. I mean, I don't. I didn't <laughs> lie to him. I I told him what what information he gleaned. Think, even I even if it's persuasion, did. even if I'm it's... not mad at you, I'm mad at the situation. <laughs> I'm mad at myself for telling you to go over there. <laughs> even if it's a persuasion check and you're genuinely telling the truth, like rolling low on it will just naturally be suspicious. It's my maths teacher. He always thought I was up to some shit. But I was never <laughs> up to some shit. I am too afraid of my old mouse teacher. Love you, Mr. Timothy. Uh, I was too afraid of him to do some shit. But when his keyboard was missing and he came in the classroom and I was laughing, I was suspect number one. <laughs> I did not take his keyboard. Well, I only have one I question for sure you. I fucking sure sounded like I did. I only have one question for you, Key. What did you do with this keyboard? I didn't. I mean, surely you knew. You know what people are saying about the keyboard, though. I shouldn't right? have given you this ammunition. <laughs> <laughs> Can I roll inside against key? <laughs> oh, shit. I am the DM. My characters <laughs> may lie to you. The world and everything in it may withhold truths from you. But I do not lie to my friends. I will mm. roll persuasion for that. <laughs> most of most of what I do is lie. Fuck! I rolled a ten, so make of that what you will. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! So minor suspicion that things might not have gone according to plan, but I believe the words coming out of it. I believe that he believes. I okay. mean, 
You didn't ask how to go. <laughs> you asked what we find out. I told you what we found out. Yeah. <laughs> and what was what questions you asked? Oh my god! No, I didn't. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I was also at the back of the classroom. Oh and he dang! Asked where it was. Rocks, <laughs> thank you so much, Rocks. Thank you, Roxy with the bribe. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't believe me, there's nothing more I can say to convince you. Yes, you, you can ask Tarquin. It. Tarquin's right there. He was there too. <laughs> you, true, I stand true. by every word that Luta said. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tarquin. Uh, as this is all going on. Oh, that's on, good enough for me. <laughs> as you see mm -hmm. this all going on, um, the door creaks open and uh, you see this um, kind of. Um, yeah, nine or ten-ish year old kid. Um, Kimchi. Uh, <laughs> um, with chestnut hair. Um, she just goes. Um. No, my name's Tommy. Oh. Hi. Uh, can I help you? School's uh, not been on for a while. So why are you still here? Uh, well, because I live here. Live in school? It's also a house. It's mostly a house that we use for school. Because there's oh. no other buildings for it right now. We're looking for ditties. I am Tommy Diddies. And my sister... Maitland's inside. Uh, may we speak um, with her, please? Uh, yeah, of course. Um, come on in. And she gestures for you all to go through. And you can see they are kind of, they have just moved the dining table and stuff out the way for like a little play mat and loads of books in the center. Be fun. You do notice mm. the books are written in a familiar, unfamiliar language. Mm. Um, you do not know what the language is, by the way. Um, I was just asking for... Now no, do a history purposes. check or something to identify language? Do you have identify language? Oh, no. You can, you can roll history mm. to see if you know what language it is that you don't speak. But you, yeah. Mm. Like, you can read Spanish and be like, I don't know what it says but i know that that's spanish kind of thing yeah, yeah actually the thing that you said i think i do have but i don't know what section it's in oh let me oh let me help you. i think <laughs> i can at least pick up on maybe what it is uh i'll, I'll roll the history check uh i'm just yeah. doing a really quick quick look yeah i don't no know where worries. it is but i think i have exactly I'll, what you just mentioned i'll have a look while you roll okay to the history. I can't remember if it was something we looked into for feet or thirteen. Thirteen. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like some crazy shit from another continent. Um, you would know it's around this kind of region or kind of the more, um, quote unquote regular fantasy, unquote uh, forest regions. So like. Cauldron or Yadash or um maybe maybe Bochfiro. I didn't forget the name, not for a second. Um I'm not seeing it in your star. Yeah, no. That's that's not what it is. Yeah. I mean, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Um, but yes, you do um Yes, that's what you glean from your history check. Um, and inside you see, um, kind of behind the desk, s sorting some stuff out, uh, stood up. Uh, just w basically a d larger version of Meglin. Um, <laughs> they, they look very similar, uh, aside from age. Um, kind of the slightly longer chestnut hair than Tommy, um, who's got hers all pinned up and curled up and braided. Uh, Meglin's just got hers loose. Uh, hi, are you the... Oh, you must be, um, the adventurers, right? 
Yes. Yeah. Gonna roll a roll for a Tarquin. Before we ask. <laughs> prepared this time. Oh, um, are you, you seem really familiar. Uh, well, she's innocent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I'm not trying to put myself in it, but I'm not sure that's the best way to tell if someone's innocent or not. Well, I can tell. I am guilty of reading a lot about heroes and adventures, though, Tarquin, so it is a pleasure to have you grace my school hall and home. Yes, I'm sure that it is. Don't worry. Everything is fine. I am here now. <laughs> oh, you found Kinry. No, we are looking for him. Do you have any leads on where he could uh, have gone? Probably about as many as other people have. He was a sweet boy. He is a sweet boy. Um, never caused... Well, he did cause a bit of trouble, but... Inside no check more. on that, DM? Yeah. Was that on a... The was or the... Yeah. Oh. Was that a DM slip or was that a her slip? No, that is a 17. A genuine accident. Okay. Just wants to be <laughs> 10. She taught this kid. She genuinely cares. Um, she's, yeah, she's trying to be optimistic. Good okay. Um, but otherwise, there's not really much I could say. I, I don't know where it would be that he'd have gone. And Tommy sits down kind of next to her on the on the mat. <laughs> Can you uh, tell us anything about Kinry? I really love to read. <laughs> um very astute in class if you could keep his attention. Um you know, sometimes I did say I'd go and supervise him out by the uh, by the building site if he did all his homework and stuff, just to persuade him. But... <sighs> yeah, I notice similar books in uh, his room. Uh, what mm. language is that? Oh, um... It's, uh... It's old Osprin. Why do you ask? Oh, so do you, you guys are all familiar with old Osprey? Um, I was taught it as a little one, and uh, I teach it to all the kids here. Nice. Something for them to have between each other, you know. But yes, he has definitely has a few favorite books, and so, no, when the kids no longer needed it, I figured I'd lend them to him. That's beautiful. Oh, you were going to say something, Amelia? Oh, I was about to ask about Kinry, too. Uh, he also mentioned, or we've heard that he would mention something about a wolf and that he lied about it. Do you know anything about that? A wolf? Uh, I mean, she kind of looks to Tommy. Some of the books we read have fairy tales in them. You know, dragons, monsters, wizards. Not so crazy, but they all had an ounce of fantasy to them, you know? On top of that. But you don't uh, remember Kimri specifically mentioning a wolf, or maybe he always draws a wolf on his desk or something? Kim... Kinry always had a fascination with wolves. Uh, to the point where, unfortunately, he was convinced he'd see them outside pretty much all the time in the forest a few months ago. Uh, kept saying to everyone, there's a wolf out there, there's a wolf out there. And so when everyone would go and check, he'd go and take an extra portion of food for himself or give it to Steel, I think, undercover. I like this kid. Like we hear he's one. literally we the boy who cried bit. wolf. <laughs> <laughs> we hear he's a little bit of a troublemaker. What kind of shenanigans has he gotten up to? 
Well, a lot of that, really. A lot of wolf-related shenanigans. Um, really just trying to convince us there were wolves out there, but... I think when uh, Grenfell got a bit sick of it, he did admit that he'd never actually seen a wolf out there. Which mm. would make sense, because... I mean, they'd surely attack if they came anywhere close. I should ask the dog again. Has, hmm. has no one in the town ever ventured uh, beyond the perimeter? A couple have. Some just for errands, you know, going to other nearby towns. You know, just for provisions if we get really desperate or there's something we can't make. Uh, Sarah obviously went down for a little bit. <laughs> but hmm. her and Jonas are lovely together and I hope people will warm up to him. He's got an incredible mind. You should absolutely go and check out his stuff if you haven't. Hmm. Yeah, he's he's pretty cool. What you would say? Tommy kind of nervously well, interjects. Oh, Jonas. Oh no, I was hmm. asking. Cooler than Tarquin? Oh. I, I don't know Tarquin that well. Ah. I've heard about you in the stories, but stories aren't always real. You know? I well, like that's to what think I'm they trying. are. So, yes. Well, Tarquin is very cool, <laughs> but I try not to compare people. Oh, I wasn't asking you to. I, that's what I was trying to get to the bottom of, actually. So you guys don't really have a catalog of the different creatures that lurk around here, do you? Uh, no. Usually if it's anything special, we'll eat it for dinner that night. As long as it's edible, hmm. but most things have been. I think when I was a teenager, there was a deer that wandered a little too close and, you know... I was admiring it and for a very short time before uh, they killed it for food. Um, it tasted delicious. I, I felt terrible, but mm. it was pretty great. <laughs> but Amelia's I'm... ears fall. I know. I'm like, <laughs> oh, um, Ludo like pats nothing... Camellia's back while he says, like, yeah, dear, is delicious. Nothing mm. personal. I wouldn't eat it out of choice. Mm, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That was incredibly insensitive of me. You people here don't eat a lot of animals? Uh, we do. Mostly fish. Some hares and rabbits. Hmm. Birds, if they land for too long. I feel like if we walk deep enough in the woods, we're going to find a highway. <laughs> um Yeah, I'm good for my quest. Could we see Kinry's uh, could we see Kinry's desk? Ooh. Um sure. Uh they usually take their stuff with them, but I can show you uh his seat on the table and they pull out she pulls out the um tape the kind of it's basically the dining table. Um, but you see there are still little name cards on it for everyone in class. And you see there's Kinry, there's Tommy, um, there's, uh, Brad, looking Brad. And then, um, there's a cute one that says, for Sarah, soon, <laughs> with little pacifiers drawn on it. Um. None for steel? Not yet. <laughs> Steel mm. is only four. <laughs> yeah, but but baby Sarah in it's still in baby. Mm. It's still in belly. <laughs> so mm. oh, still still be here. I think come the autumn time. I think uh, he'll be ready for teaching. Give Felice a bit of a break, but I don't take him away from her at this point. Without her say so, at least. Um, you don't mind you me see... asking, mm. Tommy? Okay. Uh, what do you think of Kinry? 
Anything that you say could possibly help. <sighs> you might have just gotten lost in the woods or something? I don't see why he'd leave. Honestly, it's really weird that he would just get up and go. Well, sometimes people do. And if he has, I hope he's okay. Thank you, Tommy. She nods nervously. Um, and uh, Maglin points out Kinry's part of the desk, and you see that just from the small indentations around the desk that he drew a lot and scribbled a lot. <laughs> Definitely inattentive, like the corner of the desk has been picked at. Um, there's marks and holes and lots of pen lines and ink stains all around it. There are on the other kids' parts too, but not quite as thoroughly <laughs> as Kinry's. Mm -hmm. Nothing stands out, nothing like a, if ever I get kidnapped, this is where I'm going to be. <laughs> is it turn and flip the desk over to his coordinates? I know. <laughs> Anything um, you can magical, roll maybe? In, you can roll an investigation or an arcana chat. All right, I'll roll arcana 22. There is a faint sense. Isn't this exciting? Thanks. There's a faint sense. Your 20s have been killing it today, dude. I know, no dirty 20s yet, it's a shame, but yeah, it's, I'm rolling oh. pretty good. Actually, good 20s, holy shit. Um, clean 20s. You sense... You kind of pick up on the magical aura that Bifon and Camellia are speaking about, or feeling, but not clearly. Tommy isn't radiating magic, but there, there's something there, something magical with Tommy. Did they notice anything magical with the baby? Baby? The little baby? What do you call it? The baby? Baby. Um, baby is not here. Okay, so I'd have to double check. Yes. Okay. Baby is far away. <laughs> is Kim Kimry's desk Kinry? Is it Kinry's desk the only one that is uh has like a f magical emanation, magical resi the desk residue? The desk itself residue? doesn't have a magical residue. It's just Tommy. Oh. Kind of emanating outwards gently, very faintly, but she feels like the anchor point of the magic. So you were like, is this disc magical? And then your magic senses were like, nah, but this bitch is. Okay. <laughs> mm. And Tom, when we asked Tommy just a second ago what he thought of Kim, 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 Kimry, what'd they, what'd they say? <laughs> um, she was like, I don't think he would have run away, but sometimes people leave and you hope they're okay. Hmm. Okay, I'll let the, uh, I'll like whisper, I'll use my mind melt. I won't, I will not, I will not use my mind melt. Um, I'll yes, kind of, uh, <laughs> you know, baby, you with, with Amber like gone, I just, I get so lonely the nights. <laughs> oh my God. I just need someone to talk to. <laughs> Can I have a camp romance? <laughs> um, I will, yeah kind of like pull the team aside and whisper to them what I what I notice about the magic and how specifically Tommy seems to be emanating it. Yep. So I don't know if maybe like all the kids in this town are magical or he specifically is making stuff happen. Could be not related to our boy missing at all, but I don't have yeah, any other no, leads. I like that. We should double check that. Yeah. 
We have to go back and talk to the father anyway, so. Children of the you. corn beef. Where is Danny when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> Tracking down kids to punch. <laughs> uh, is there anything else we can help with? What's Tommy's last name? What like what family is he from? Uh, Tommy is a she, and she is from the Didi's family. She's oh, Michelin's so she's already younger home. Younger sister. Yeah. Okay. That's so why she was like, "I live here. I live at school." Ah. And you're like, "Why the fuck do you live at school?" And she was like, "Cause it's my house, also." That's why we're building a new schoolhouse. Yeah. I think that's all, but if anything comes up, literally anything, please let us know. Of course. Um. Hey, Miss Miss Diris, can I talk to you just a little bit, one on one? Uh, you saying this to Meglin? The yeah, Meglin, the teacher. Yes. Uh, yes, of course. What's up? Meglin is Tommy's mom. Sister. Older sister. sister. Oh, okay, who's... Okay, well, that's fine. It works. Hey, uh... Does, uh... Anybody in your family know magic? I... Didn't really know Mar and Par that well. I don't think they did. Okay, you, you don't know magic? You don't use magic? I know of magic, but I, I can't use it, unfortunately. Just, okay. uh, languages, mostly. Weird things ever happen around the house, things start floating, you know, chore needs to get done, suddenly it's magically done. Anything weird like that? No. Tommy's very on top of the chores that I ask her to do, but... Nothing magical. Okay. I'm getting a weird sense of magic around here. I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know either. Well, I, I don't think you're in trouble or you're in danger or anything. But just, it's you know, we're trying to... Worrying considering that a kid's missing. Yeah. I mean, that's why we're trying to investigate anything and everything. Are but we you, safe you, to you... sleep here tonight? Or... Should yeah. Sleep elsewhere? No, no, you're fine. You're fine. I just, uh, you never noticing anything magical, huh? Ever? Everything seems normal to you? Not at all. No. No. Okay. Nah, you're fine. Everybody's got a little magic. It's just fine. Well, if there's nothing else, then. Uh, we, we, um. We'll uh, likely see you at dinner. It shouldn't be too long now. All right, I guess we leave. The whole town eats together? Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah. They eat deer, apparently. <laughs> that was that was the one time. It's like seven years ago. And they had never gotten over the taste. <laughs> That's the most delicious. So, okay. So it is now dark and you see as trays of food are being brought out to the uh social area, um just outside by the well by this large campfire you see all the all the usual suspects um you also see a couple of people that you haven't already uh which include i thought this would be campfire chill vibes but it's kind of intense that's fine um you see uh tisha owlsley grenfer's wife um, also kind of a darker ginger hair. Uh, you see Jonas Fearheart, Sarah's beau. And they've been doing things, maybe. Um, and he has quite dark blonde hair. Um, 
Everyone except Luto would immediately see that he is a half elf. Luto, you may roll. Uh, what's your passive perception, Luto? Uh, thirteen. Yeah, you'd see he's a half elf. He's got a little, just a little, little bit pointier ears. Um, and he's all cuddled up and cozy next to Sarah, making sure she's not having to lift anything. Um, he does. You do notice, Beef Bun. Whoa, all of you would notice if you got close. He does smell odd. Quite metallic. Um, quite chemically. Um, you would who do, also. Who does? Uh, Jonas. Hmm. This is the new guy that everybody is saying is so cool. Yes. We need to check out. Yeah. All right, so he Except did it. Attack. A lot of people. Well, for initiative. Like, that guy. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Um, you also see uh, Brad, who is a, a chubby, chubby little kid uh, with quite dark hair. Looks like his mum. Spit of his mum, uh, but child. Um, quite pudgy. Um, you also see Rianne Frostall. Um, again, quite a. Uh, reddish brown hair um fisherman's knit on um sitting a little further away from everyone um and that is i believe no revan you also see revan if you haven't seen revan he um has kind of a dark chestnuty hair and is um sitting with felici and still still who is um just munching a jacket potato. Just baked potato. Just <laughs> hum, rum, rum, rum. <laughs> hum, rum, rum, So, this uh, is now that there are several kids. Opportunity uh, before nightfall to speak to anyone should you so wish. Mm. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I just want to like look out again and see if yeah, yeah. I'm sense a magical emanation from anybody. Well, oh shit, there it is. Nat 20. Ooh. To 23. The magic. Now that everyone is outside, is crystal clear. Tommy is emanating some form of magic around the town, around the hamlet. And it seems to be some effort at attempting to summon a shield around the town. Hmm. Does it seem like they're like actively doing it or subconsciously doing it? They... I mean, Tommy's been kind of elsewhere when talking to you. Like, even with the answers, it was kind of a very specific answer. Like, something else was going on in their mind, and likely that is trying to maintain this spell or worrying about it. Oh, shit. That's where you go with another honey, mommy. Uh, guys, guys, guys. I'll pull you all aside, <laughs> and I'll basically tell you that. What do you think, friends? <laughs> yeah, me too. I agree with friends, guys. Same. Yes. Friends always is right. He's always right. So, I mean... Okay, I, 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 I'll, I'll tell you what I'm thinking so far. This town seems pretty weirdly safe, right? Kind of like very safe town, very nice town, peaceful. Maybe this kid Tommy is making this kind of magical shield. Keeps the town very safe. Tommy is always worried about it. You know, maybe it's a constant struggle for them to keep it up. And then one day, maybe they mess up a little bit. And uh, Kimri ends up on the wrong side of the shield. Something happens. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. That's all I got so far. Hmm. I mean, if it's concentrated to the town only, the 
they had some people check out in the woods as well. Hmm. How does Should Kinry we? go from their bed to missing? It would have been within the shield. Oh, he went missing from the bed? I didn't know that. Well, the last time that Felici, uh, Felici saw him was when he went to sleep. That doesn't mean he didn't get up and walk out of town. Right. I mean, we and don't really... I don't Sorry. think it's the whole story is all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But we... I don't know. It could be... I mean, I don't think it's nothing. I think it's the... Mm -hmm. Oh, of, absolutely. Yeah. I think it's something, but I just don't know what That's yet. It's fine. There's nothing going on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay, then we can leave then. Sure. Yeah? All right. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Don't poison flowers, I mean. The kid is just very mini radiant. Mini. I'm also wondering if it's all Tommy. Well, I think something about this Jonas guy, right? He smells like chemicals and he's like a freaking robot or something. Oh, I feel like somebody <laughs> in this. <laughs> I feel like I feel like somebody in the town might be up to something. Definitely. Whether it's related or not, I don't know. Uh, the only other thing I can say about Tommy is Megalyn knows languages. We don't know what's in any of these books. It doesn't seem like a magical town, but Tommy is radiating all this magical energy. I don't know if it's connected to the energy that we felt from the other side of town, but that means Tommy is doing some serious coverage. That seems pretty strong. Also, we don't know anything about their parents. Right. Mm -hmm. It could have been taught something long ago, you know. Uh, which which one of you guys wants to go in on that Jonas guy? Seems pretty suspicious. I'm gonna talk to Revan, and yeah, I'm gonna talk to Revan. Amelia, you want this job? Yeah, I'll go talk to Jonas. Okay, just keep in mind, probably a robot. Okay. A what? Probably some kind of like. Mechanical creature that will want to eat you for your oil and what? turn you into robot parts. Tarquin, can you please help me? She's so young. Amelia, it sounds as if these pitiful humans have not yet trained their automatons for max capitalistic efficiency. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Just don't offer you oil because if you offer oil, then it's going to be very complicated for you. Yes. Oh. Okay. Just push him into the water if it messes with you. Come here, you look, we're trusting you, okay? Uh, Tarquin and I will be watching you. This is the signal in case you need help. And watch me closely, okay? Mm -hmm. Ludo slowly, very slowly, puts his index finger up and into his nose. We're not doing that. And then you twist then it like this. Signal. If you do this, it means you're in trouble. We're going to come rushing in. Weapons drawn. You're going to be safe, okay? Yeah. But just... Hello. Yeah. Can you roll a constitution saving throw for me, please? <laughs> <laughs> Did he hurt himself with a finger? <laughs> well, he's he's mind-melded today. A 17. 11, 11 shit going on. Damn it. <laughs> your nose stays, stays unbloodied. Look, man, I got mad hay fever. If I fucking think about a flower, my nose starts bleeding like a horny anime character. Oh my god. Shit. <laughs> Amelia, it's very serious. If you're in trouble, like this, okay? Like this, then you twist it. See? Did you just put your finger back in your nose? Yeah. Roll that shit again. <laughs> oh my god. Don't think too far. Uh, Next one will be a disadvantage. 14. You're, you're just safe. <laughs> I'm stung a little bit, but you're fine. His nose has an AC of 12. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Cast. If you, you can, know. check in with Rufus. <laughs> uh -huh. See if he has anything yet. <laughs> uh, I was going to say I cast Bless, happens. and I forgot that I don't have Bless anymore. No. 
oh, cast no. invisibility. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really just walking around. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah perfect there you go marker um mm. hi marker um hi, marker. okay so who's going to who and who's going first someone should also check on rian and maybe vic and your all right uh tarquin which one Rian's you want the fisherman fish or the bros uh, I don't know. I, I I don't like anyone, but uh, I don't know the fish. Let's go, bros. Who, who wants to go? <laughs> who wants to go first? And where are they going? You tell me. You tell me. There's a lot of names. A lot of chaos. Well, we got confused. some other. We got some other information, so I'll talk to Revan. Just to make sure the family's okay. And okay. Everything. So you approach Revan. He is currently with the family. Mm. Still sees you again. Fluffy! How you doing, little potato? Hey! You enjoying potato, that? Potato, 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 potato. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Felicia says, Oh, um... Revan, this is, uh, this is Bifon. He's, uh, part of the investigation team. Oh, um. You see that his brow's furred, and he obviously doesn't want to have this conversation. Um, but I mean, he's trying to be as polite as he can. Um, uh, um, uh. Yeah, hi, uh, Revan. Wish we were mm. meeting under better circumstances. Mm -hmm. I just came over to check on you guys. Uh, I know it's a hard time. Um, I'll make it quick. Uh, you guys, you guys eating all right? Everything good? Oh. Uh, yes. Oh, thank you. Help, help yourself. By the way, there's enough for you. I will. I will. Um, just a couple of quick questions. Uh, anything that you can tell me about Kenry? Um, just personality. Here he's a bit of a scam, whatever. Like, what's your relationship with him? Uh, uh he he was. Uh, it, uh, it's always. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not quite um, as optimistic as other folk. I understand. Once you've lost a kid once, the idea of losing them again is... Anyway, um... No, uh... He, he's always been uh, a bit of a scam. A bit, a bit mischievous. Um, took to uh, gentle disciplining well, but... There was... He was never the kind of kid this sort of thing would happen to. You know, he, he's a nuisance, yeah, but he, he's not a bad kid, or, or not that any child is worthy of such a fate. I loved him dearly, as I do the whole family. Yeah, I heard you like to read to him. Yeah. Oh, I love those love those books. Had to uh Yeah, interesting. Old Osprin has that been in the village a long time, I take it? Probably since its conception, right? Uh yeah. It's actually been gone for a few generations. But um my parents taught it to me. My grandparents taught it to me. Not my parents. Um, and it was like we had our own little secret language or something. And so of course when Meglin said that she knew it, it was 
brilliant. Your lady. Fairy tales. Your lady told us um, that there's one book in particular that he used to love. Uh, what is the name of that book? I think it might actually help us find him. Maybe he just went off on an adventure or something. Oh, the Yadash Book of Forest Fables. Mm. Um, I mean, most of the books are fables and tales and morality and all that kind of thing, but this one had the most glorious illustrated pages. And there was one page of a large wolf creature that he just I think it scared him at first when he was really tiny and he he grew to admire it mm. <laughs> to see the power of it and respect it nature is beautiful but it is dangerous we all go through it don't we what story was that? Um, it's just the story of the wolf, I believe. So it was a story about the wolf. Essay. Yes, that fable in particular. There's a collection of different fables in there. I um, I won't take up any more of your time, but um, you did mention something, and I really hate to bring it up. Uh, you don't have to answer at all if you don't wish to. I don't want to dredge up old memories. You've lost another child before? No. Um, no. Um, uh, do you have children? No. Well, well sort of. <laughs> We've taken on a lot of people on our journeys. I see. Uh, well, when you bear a child, have a child, the one thing you fear the most is losing them for you yourself. And with what has occurred, I ask my pessimism to be excused, because should he be all right, then I only know the torture of what it is to lose a child and fear it ever more so than I did before. Felice I think the takes his hand. Just reassure them. I think the information that you've given will help a lot. And we'll do everything in our, in all of our power to find him. At the very least, we would like to give you closure. You guys have a great meal. You too. We'll be around. Alright, I'm done. Bye, little potato. <laughs> Who's going the next? I can go next. Talk to Jonas. Okay, bear in mind the fam. Well, maybe not the whole family, but uh, Sarah will be next to him when you. But he's all brooch and he's there. And Sarah's there and they're just having a chat and a laugh. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Hey, hang on. Wrong voice. North Grove. There it is. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, my name's Camelia. Or, uh, I'm me and my team are looking for Kinry. I just wanted to ask a few questions. Oh, I wish that were more of a reassurance, but I have met a couple of your uh, compatriots over there. Quite uh, colourful characters, aren't they? They are. <laughs> I but just wanted to follow up on them. 
It is good to meet you, though, Camellia. Um, <laughs> my name's Sarah. And, uh, I am your nurse. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you both. I've actually heard a bit about the both of you. Uh, Jonas, you're not from around here, are you? Oh, what was it that gave it away? Um, was it the accent, the pointy ears, or just... Everyone Word around the village. Side eye all the time. Yeah, that'll be the one. Uh, mm. No, I am not from around here. Uh, where are you originally from? I could ask you the very same question. He says with like a uninsulting smile. Mm hmm. Hmm. So, sorry, uh, sorry. Just uh, elbows him. <laughs> <laughs> He's from Ospra. A uh, Lost it again. North Grove. He's from Osprey. But uh, before that, he doesn't really like to talk about. Okay, I can understand. So, were either of you close to Kinry? Or knew anything about him? Well, it's a small town, you know. There's only a few of us. It's hard not to be close to the kiddos. They're lovely. Um... I mean, Jonas, you hadn't known him long, had you? No, I hadn't, but uh, he had a keen interest in what I do. It was really refreshing, especially in uh, this town. What do you do? Uh, he, he, like, goes to speak and Sarah interjects and she's like, He, this one here, is an in... Inventor. Would you believe it? <laughs> There's nothing he can't make. You should tell him what you're making at the minute. It's hard to explain it. It is, um, it is like a... So you know a painting. Mm -hmm. That captures an environment or person. It is like that, but it is just capturing what we see as we see it. There's no oh. color or um, anything yet, but uh, hopefully, with a few more months of work, it'll have color and everything. Interesting. So, as an inventor, the kids must love you and what you do, huh? Oh, they, f they uh, find it intriguing. Love is maybe a strong word. Mm -hmm. They definitely show interest, but as soon as I start explaining the kind of... Oh, the um, electrolytic and impurity processes, and they all start to fall asleep. <laughs> so, you mentioned how everybody in town kind of side eyes you? Do you think that's because you're an outsider, or...? Uh, I would assume that is part of the reason, and also, you know... Oh, this... This bump's not exactly easy to hide. <laughs> and, uh... Fairly traditional values around here, so... Yeah. Okay, uh... <laughs> Have you ever noticed anything odd or strange before, during, or after Kenry's disappearance? Uh, nothing that we didn't mention earlier to the others. Um, there were hearsay about wolves, but then that all turned out to be a croc. Uh, and, uh... Well, until this, Jonas was kind of the news of the town, weren't you, darling? Uh, unfortunately, yes. But I would rather maybe the focus of town rather than this. So this is just... Nobody wants a kid to be missing. Jonas, what do you think of this town? Sarah gives him a look. Um, it's cozy. 
And the love of my life is here. The trees are tall. Can I roll insight? Yes. <laughs> Eighteen. Ooh. Um, he definitely feels off about this town. He's trying not to be too rude about it, but he's definitely like, the fact that everyone fucking hates me really doesn't goddamn help. And now there's a kid missing, so maybe there was more, like, <laughs> more water held by my, uh, by my initial worries than I initially thought. Mm. But nothing kind of otherwise hidden. She eyes him critically and just, okay, um, if I have any other questions, I'll let you know. And if any of you, looks at Giannis, have any more info, please seek out me or one of my friends. Uh, we will seek you or uh, the fuzzy one out, I think. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> uh, sorry about my friends. There. Oh, it was rather entertaining. Um, by the way, I think they might think that only innocent, honest people can have babies. Um, I'm sorry I had to do it to them, but they were quite aggressive with their line of questioning, so I had to have a bit of fun. Roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hear this. <laughs> don't fight a pregnant lady. Eldritch you blast. don't know. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Anyone else? Anything else? I mean, Tarquin is going to go. Tarquin is going to go investi interrogate the guy, and then I was going to go interrogate the two guys. Okay. Oh, fisherman? Yeah, Rian. Okay, do we go to your first talk, Queen? Yeah, I'm a little bit lost, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, okay. Too many NPCs at once for my brain. Very fair. <laughs> um, I put a list of just the names in chat last week. Uh, yeah, it's the bottom of my character discussion. Is this, uh... Yeah, yeah Rian's I'll just a just fisherman. Do attack there. I see it, I see it. Might have a little something going on with the butcher. That's about all we got on him. All right. Let's talk to this guy. Okay. Hello, you sir. See he's kind of off eating to himself a bit. Uh, hello, you're on the investigation team, I take it. Of course. I am here to see if we can find this child that uh, seems to be missing and no one knows about him. So I was wondering if you had uh, something that could help me on my research. Well, if I could summon the child and put him here for you to find, I would do so. Well, it seems like no one here has that power, so maybe you can aid me with something else. When was the last time you saw him? Same as most folk, the day before he went missing. Right, and Six did days you, ago now. Did you notice anything strange, perhaps uh, not directly with him, but with anyone else in this town? No, he was uh, being his usual nuisancey self, playing about on the uh, on the scaffolding of the new building. He was going around trying to steal cabbages and get some extra food for himself. All sorts of nonsense. So he was always a little bit of a troublemaker, you would say. Oh, at the very least, I. At the very least. And if you had to say, pick someone who you would say, this person would be pretty angry at this boy, who would it be? Well, I mean, the uh, Horace was the, is the head of the building. Uh -huh. and your for also working on it so they'd probably get annoyed Grenfell is annoyed at bloody everybody 
so always suspicious. All right, and um, in the construction site, did you hear about anything that happened there? No, he was just playing around on stuff, almost got himself injured. Nothing so, explicitly that happened, no. So you know that this man got injured. It was just an accident. Well, I don't know what's going on with him half the day. I'm usually out fishing. So you didn't happen to see anything? No. Just fish? Just fish. That's helpful. You're welcome. Is there anything else, or can I eat my potato in peace? I suppose uh, that uh, I cannot get any more information out of you, but uh, I presume that if I ever need your help again, you would be available, right? <sighs> Aye, but no disrespect. I don't think I have anything else I could tell you. Can I do an inside check? You certainly may. That's a dirty 20. Dirty 20. Dada 20! Dada 20! He knows more than he's letting on. Oh! Oh! Mm. <gasps> All right, so let's say for a minute that I believe you <laughs> and that uh, you have nothing <laughs> else to offer me. Um, I would pretty much be leaving right now, but I don't think I would let you breathe this time. I'm going to stay right here next to you until you confess what you have in mind. Nice. What is it you're looking for me to confess? I want answers, so you better start talking. Oh, yeah? Yes. And if I don't, does that automatically mean I've killed the kid? Hurt the no, kid? but that means that you're not cooperating, and if you're not cooperating with me, then you're gonna get yourself in trouble, so... Let's spare us that <sighs> disgusting moment and start talking. Get him. Um... I heard something outside at night when he went missing. All right, I'm listening. It was a creak and a crash. Loud, sudden, and then I didn't hear anything else. And if you had to say that noise was similar to something, what would you say it was? Wood. A building site. Bone. Have you okay. had the proper look at that building site yet? Alright, then we shall investigate further. Hmm. What have you found so far? Excuse me? Have you found out anything so far? Not yet, if... but we will find everything. So it's best day... for you to tell me everything you know. That way you, you will avoid yourself trouble. Not found out anything. That's tough. Better crack on with it then. Yes. I heard enough about you. So I will let you, let you continue with your tranquility, but I'll keep an eye on you. Likewise. Goodbye, Fishman. <laughs> Goodbye, Tarquin. <laughs> okay. Luta! <laughs> All right, I guess I'm gonna go talk to Vic and Yorv. Vic and Yorv, everyone's favorite not comedy duo. <laughs> what are they doing? They're just throwing it up over some potatoes. <laughs> just, okay. Just talking, mostly just recovering from long hard days work. 
kind of taking off their tool belts and stretching and wolfing down potatoes. Wolfing. <laughs> oh, mysterious. Okay, uh, Luda's going to head over to him. He's going to stand near him. Hey. He's crackening towards you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, it's you again. Can we help? Hey. Yeah, you guys like whiskey? Like what? Do you guys like whiskey? Yeah. Got fresh Genoa whiskey. You see, Vic just holds out a hand, like, gimme. <laughs> gimme. <laughs> I'll, like, uh, bust into, like, my pack, pull out, like, three little collapsible serving, like, maybe measuring cups. Like, oh my God, amazing. And I'll, like, uh, pour us, pour us all some shots, take a seat with nice. them. All right, what are we cheersing to? Uh... Can you solve the murder? The case? Cheers to uh, day being done. Goddamn. Go to sleep, right? I'll drink to anything at this point. Cheers. No, they all knock it back. I drink uh, with them. It'll be a uh, busy day, huh? I'm busier than any other. Yeah, it seemed like they got you two working pretty hard. Well, it was boss's day off, so... We had the weekend off, it's only fair. Okay. Uh, what do you guys do when you're not building stuff around here? No, oh, that's a really good question. It is, isn't it? Um... I don't know, really. Kind of horse horseshoes that are peg in the ground oh i love horseshoes i'm so good at it. do you guys want to do that bring it on all right what are we wagering oh uh let's see uh, i'm a pretty good cook made some of these brownies you guys like brownies do you like brownies doesn't look like there's a lot of uh, good bakeries around these spots. And this is some pretty good brownies, you guys. Okay. But what about you guys? We win, if we win, you've got to do half a day's work with us. Wait, wait, hold on. If you win, you get the brownies. Yep. What if I win? You do half a day's work. Well, that's not how it works. You're a freaking idiot. Hey, I'll work with you guys. I don't mind the hard day's work. Uh, well, how about this? If... Uh, if I win, you guys know anything at all that'll help me get back to my girlfriend back in town faster, you tell me. Oh, okay? have you got a girlfriend? Well, I got myself a bit of a girlfriend, yeah. Why is she not here? <laughs> She's uh, busy doing this and that. I don't know. She's so smart. You want to see her? She's so smart that she's not here with you right now. <laughs> um, do you want to be here? <laughs> but, no. <laughs> she's, she's, she's doing business. <laughs> um, he'll say, all right, if you win, I'll teach you some ace moves that will work on your girlfriend all right uh so my goal dm is to basically just buddy up with them chum it up with uh -huh. them get get them drunk uh act uh -huh. like i'm not trying to interrogate them and see if i can get them to casually just bumble anything or admit anything okay. that they're not supposed to but ludo is also drinking alcohol at this time yeah Okay, wonderful. So roll a constitution saving throw for you. Yes. Here we go. Oh, starting okay. off strong with an eight. Ooh. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> oh, can I get my... I don't have guidance anymore. God damn it. Being a warlock sucks. <laughs> no, no, I do have guidance. Can I get myself uh, guidance on say... that? Okay. Uh, that eight is now a ten. Okay. You still get a little bit more pissed. All right. Um, ask, ask your question and we'll roll again. Uh, there's uh, no particular questions. He's not particularly guiding them. Just trying to see if oh, like yeah. maybe Just during the, yeah, during the typical bullshitting around of playing horseshoes, if uh, I can get them to see if they can admit anything. So far, they're pretty hardcore horseshoe fans. Are they any good? Um, yeah, they're doing all right. Uh, you're getting, you feel like the alcohol isn't working on them as well. Um, but we'll roll enough their constitution saving throw. All right. <laughs> and before they stay totally sober. Okay. Fuck. Go. Oh, that was a that was fourteen that rolled to a six. Uh, oh. plus a d four. Mm -hmm. Yikes! That's a total of a nine. Ludo's getting oh, okay. getting a little soggy. Uh, your passes out, dead ass. Um, nice. Vic is. Staying strong. The the Scottish accent is doing him well. Why do you need to toss the horseshoe at the peg in the ground? I don't know what it is. I don't know what right. it's doing. Are you alright, mate? Oh yeah, we do this all the time where I come from. We make uh, alcohol from a coconut. <laughs> you you ever have a coconut alcohol? Uh, no, I don't think I have. Oh, it's it tastes very sweet, so the kids get at it. Oh my god, <laughs> drunk kids is the best. Okay, and roll <laughs> one last one last Constitution saving throw for me, please. Come on. All right, thirteen plus a D four. Is a 14. Fuck! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, over the course of the uh, horseshoe match, you proceed to tell pretty much everything you currently know to uh, your, uh, not your, sorry, to Vic, uh, who remains very oddly sober. Uh, a little bit, a little bit pissed, but. Insight? Much... Is he even drinking? He's drinking. <laughs> Okay. You you see the whiskey pouring out, like drooling out of his mouth. He's drinking it right from the bottle after you, mate. But, um, he's he's got a strong constitution, it would appear, according to okay. the dice. All right. Well, the dice decided I'm not winning this one. <laughs> mm -mm. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. We have a really good time playing it. Always, just... always use. Okay. <laughs> still a win in still a win in my book. Yeah, this is amazing. Um, okay. Any other questioning that you would like to do before the evening? Or would you like to scoop up Ludo and head to camp for the evening? Oh, uh, you mean for all of us? Yes. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just picturing Vic and Yori as the old gods of Asgard. <laughs> Fucking Alan Wake. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to see if Fergus has picked up anything yet. That's... Um, if you go over to Fergus, he's asleep. Okay. Okay. So we'll save everything for tomorrow. He has, I guess, he has got the socks under his nose and mouth still, <laughs> but he is. We also have to check out the fuck. building site. Mm hmm. Anybody want to pick that up? You mean Ludo? Yeah. <laughs> ah, come on. On the weekend, that didn't dare. Ludo. Oh, I, I can't carry him. Mm, I'll take care of him. Don't worry. When he can. <laughs> That's true. Full size oh, uh, when he can. Wait, here. Uh, come here, Winnie. Take off the bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here, just put him on, on top of Winnie. All right. 
There we go, Luto. Come on. It's Froggy a giant frog. friend. Winnie, do you want to follow is me? It's pretty nice. Okay, I'll introduce you later. <laughs> it takes you about five minutes. Uh, it would usually take only a couple of minutes to walk to the Hamlet uh, from camp, but it takes you five uh, with extra Ludo difficulties uh, to get back to camp. But indeed, you do get back to camp. Amelia. the nighttime mm -hmm. could hear. Do you have any sort of magic detection? I've used mine for the day. I don't, sorry. Umberline! Uh, yeah. <laughs> As we walk across the bridge, can I do an arcana check? Yeah. I want to see uh, how far the magic stretches out. Is it actually reach us? And I'll, I'll assist him. Where's Umberline? Well, I'm going to need that. It's a nine. <laughs> uh, Umberline's back at the guild. Friends, get on <laughs> uh, Friends will begin to fly away. Friends, <laughs> friends, friends, no, friends, it's a friends, long we'll, flight. Stay, stay here. We'll, we'll get your mom later. I got a twenty-one. <laughs> Thank oh, you. I miss her. It ends just at the bridge. Oh, it ends right here at the bridge. So it really is kind of just surrounding the town. Mm. Okay. So, should I just, you know what? Let's get some rest. We'll make plans in the morning. Right, Ludo? Where's Humberly? <laughs> She's always with us. <laughs> Somebody got a cuddle with me. <laughs> yeah, friends. Friends nuzzle, nuzzles up. <laughs> That's fair. A cuddle with friends. <laughs> and you all get a long rest. We. The next morning. You have your breakfast, get ready, head into town. Still fairly early. Pancake and eggs. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Oh, no, no. You, you, you head into town. It's oddly quieter than usual. The first thing you will notice is that the door to the schoolhouse is open. It is the start of the day, so it makes sense. Should we keep questioning people or um, look around more? Mm, let's go see what's going on at the school. The door's open. Mm -hmm. As you go inside, your heart drop as you see not far from where she was talking to you the day before, as if getting ready to pull the desks out. You see Meglin, her body, her face, her garments, torn to shreds by large, unforgiving claw marks that go into the wood of the floor. Which has been steeped in her blood, only slightly from as Tommy rests in her bed, 
just above in the loft nook of the house. Next to her is a book. Another of the fairy tale books. And it is opened on a page with a beautiful painting, hand done, of a forest. And just in the distance, between flora and trees, and bushes, and birds, and ferns, you see two large, glowing eyes. And that is where we're gonna leave today's episode. Oh my god! Well, well, well. <laughs> Scorpio exactly. says that kid is dead. <laughs> full stop. <laughs> okay, so it's very funny. We went into the school and. There's a book. What happened? Everybody dead? What happened? Meglin has been ripped to shreds. Jesus. Large creature. And next to her is a book that is Maybe a on wolf. the page with an illustrated. Its eyes glaring out from the forest. Dang. Wait, what? Oh, in the book, the eyes are glaring out from the forest or oh, out the yes. window. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just in the book. And then you look out the window and you don't see anything. Uh. <laughs> oh. I don't now know who... Mr. Wee. I don't remember who said it earlier, but the boy who cried wolf was one of the biggest inspirations for this. I was going to say. Literally the boy who cried wolf. I was, I was wondering if like at the end you were going for like some kind of like each of these crimes is going to be inspired by like a classic fairy tale type thing. No. No. Unless. Dang. <laughs> Good job for keeping up though. There's a lot of there's a lot of people, a lot of threads. I've not fully done like a murder mystery before of this scale, so Y'all are y'all are keeping up well. You're picking up pieces you meant to be. Come of him at least. So what are we thinking so far? What are what are the what are the theories? Well, I think This is not what we had in mind when we asked for exposed DDs. I don't like horror. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't you like You don't horror. like horror? <laughs> Horace. Aww. I'm oh, Horus. Horus. Horus is not going to be in a good way. He's going to be pretty upset about this. Wait, no. He like mm. Didi's not... Oh, Neglin Didi. Neglin's last name mm -hmm. is Didi's. Neglin is the one that he likes. Yes. Oh, dang. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. He's going to be pretty upset about this. Yep. And y'all thought it was him. And it might still be him. I'm not legally obliged uh... to say. <laughs> I think everyone was accused at some point. Yeah. Except Brad. Mm -hmm. I don't think Brad was accused of anything. Unless. He's just a butcher kid. So yeah. Timmy has some kind of innate magic that he's emanating and it's making these books that he's reading come to life. That would be mm -hmm. cool. This is what I'm thinking. If it's true, unless. <laughs> unless it was Jonas the robot. Uh, you got a little a little peek at what Jonas does. I don't know if anyone picked up on it. Is I was trying to figure out why he Oh he's an inventor, that's why he smells like stuff. Okay. Oh, dang. Dang y'all dang. Mm. A moida afoot. Diggity ding. 
Okay. Uh, you want to tell them about next week, Key? No, nobody here next week. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not here next week, but these guys might be. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we have talked about having a little character Q and A mini session or some such. Maybe it, maybe it's just a session where you go around and think about who done it. <laughs> <laughs> where Kinray is, I'll just come back and you'll be like, all right, it's him because this and this and also this. But I think she was involved in this way. I'll be like, oh, fuck. Uh, okay. Yeah, I guess you're right. Fucking hell. I don't know. We <laughs> could have a self dm session and everything that happens has to be canon. No. <laughs> <laughs> there is there is too much on the line. Saying that though. So you come back and it's like this we all have dragons now, we ride them. <laughs> <laughs> no my Tarkwing god! Got the, Tarkwing got the shit. <laughs> Do you remember how surprised when you found out Neo could fly? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like that. Oh my god. Oh, but it is worth mentioning. We did get three level seven hype trains in a row. Ding. Turkey, turkey seven hype trains. Thank you guys and again. So because of you guys oh, and your incredible support. The world state has changed. <gasps> the world state Ooh. has shifted. Something in the world has moved. And it ain't just like a tectonic plate and none of that shit. It ain't just like a breeze. Tarask is real. <laughs> mm. If Tarask isn't real, it can't hurt you, but it is real. Mm. Will it be a good thing? Will it be a bad thing? It depends how you look at it. Um, but yeah, a lot serpent. of... Mm -hmm. The whole world is just on top of a turtle. Um, <laughs> completely original idea. Uh, no. <laughs> um, no, y'all did friggin' awesome today. Y'all y'all did some decent digging. Y'all were not necessarily meant to find out about Tommy's magic on day one. That was that was pretty lit. Ooh. That was pretty sick, GG. Um But why? And but why when you find out about her magic? It's not her sister that no. Um I like that a character that you created actually has idiot armor. Just wandering into all kinds of shit. <laughs> That's <laughs> great. Yeah. Yeah. Ludo whole... is a real person. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. The whole the whole scene of Ludo in Tarquin body. <laughs> Chef's kiss. What, what was that about? What was what that about? What's what are, what are your oh. What are your theories? I want to hear some theories on that before we before we call it. Because I mean, obviously, Ooh. Tarquin maybe may or may not want to join in on this. But <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Ludo's theory is his friend's really cool, uh -huh. and he does. He's so cool he doesn't even he doesn't even need an island. He's bigger than an island. He's the whole planet. But JC uh -huh. got some theories. Oh yeah. <laughs> What are the mm -hmm. theories, JC? Ludo, I'm mean, sorry, Tarquin is <laughs> like, mm. like, like Link. You know, like Link keeps coming back mm. in different ages when he's mm -hmm. needed. So it's like mm. Tarquin did do all those things, but just not all within the lifetime of one drow. You know, but he did it over multiple lifetimes, over ages. And he keeps coming back. But your honor, Tarquin doesn't go. Hah! He has not. Well, I don't know, actually. <laughs> have, have, have we for sure never heard Tarquin? <laughs> Interesting. Someone hand him a chicken. See if he flies. <laughs> <laughs> That's my thing. Hmm. Interesting. 
It uh, would be so much more interesting if it wasn't wrong. Unless... Anyone oh. else? I'm just going to keep doing that now. <laughs> to unless. Unless. <laughs> Your parents are going to ask you, like, would you like seconds? Uh, I don't know. Unless. <laughs> I am going to go have dinner after this. I oh, know it's late. Don't worry. I have eaten. I have eaten. Nobody start mm. getting on me. I have eaten. I had a ham sandwich. And what since before the session? <laughs> Harquin yeah. is a golem. Oh. His memories are not his. Ooh. He's he's been created. You know, that's a really interesting theory, and it would be even more so if it wasn't wrong. Mm. Unless, Unless. <laughs> 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 Cause not new shirt, new shirt. It would Unless. be very interesting if it wasn't wrong. Unless <laughs> I want a baseball cap with that on it. <laughs> what about it's you, Rubes? <laughs> I'm sorry you won't be getting any sleep tonight, Rubes. <laughs> <laughs> I just like kinda wanna double down on JC's uh theory because Tarquin has mentioned oh yeah I've died a couple hundred times like like it's fucking nothing oh right and yeah and like he doesn't have his own island he doesn't have his own sense of self Someone's so he doesn't have his own notes. kind of <laughs> yeah, I'm good at taking his <laughs> <laughs> but yeah his I he has lived a hundred lives or maybe he is trying to become an, a hero in order to establish his own island or identity or something you know, mm. you know what I think? I think that is, like, in theory, mm -hmm. yeah, really, really interesting. Mm -hmm. It would be... I can't help but feel like it would be more interesting if it wasn't, like, completely wrong. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, man. Unless... Unless... <laughs> <laughs> interesting. Well, look around and find out. <laughs> it's about so to. much fun to have such a mysterious character that no one knows anything about him. Dar Darian's just smiling to himself like, <laughs> I'm loving this. <laughs> <laughs> Although I think I said that before the session. I think everyone's kind of big secret. I think those are all still under wraps. I don't think any real big Boom, bombastic secrets have been unleashed yet. Of course, except for Ludo shitting himself that one time. Yeah. <laughs> That's canon. Sorry, sorry to bring that back up. Canon. Poop. That's gonna be a. It's gonna be a side campaign at some point, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have said before, if everyone can't make it to a session we're gonna try and start and get some origin sessions planned and Ludo's would be back on the aisles at Disguise <laughs> at the cooking school so would that be a con Ludo. check to see if he doesn't poop himself <laughs> Ooh, I, got I would it. allow I would allow con or strength <laughs> 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 Constitution's the gut easy check. answer. Literal gut check. Just <laughs> sphincter check. <laughs> sphincter check. I got it. Hey guys, can oh, you yeah. come with me to my high school reunion? <laughs> yes. Oh, oh my yes, god. Lou, of course we will. I want to do that. Bet you were so popular. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was this one time. I've been changing all the all the lore and the plot to uh, the the altars can only be found at high school reunions. <laughs> <laughs> I will go full Buffy on everybody's ass. Yes. <laughs> Deadass Anthony Head just there. Or it's something like. Ludo doesn't want to go, but we have to because, yeah, one of the altars is there or something or some kind of clue. Oh. And we finally go, and the whole time Ludo hates it. And finally, you guys find out why <laughs> when somebody's like, Hey, is that Poopo? <laughs> <laughs> Poopo! <laughs> Poopo! 
Poopo is pantsy. Oh. What's up, bud? Long time no see. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, Poopo. Poopo Not is pantsy. It's an islander version of Biff Tannen. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm not sure if I'd be able to roleplay everyone just being mean to Ludo and calling him Poopo. You fucking better. <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> I just signed not... all the bully. <laughs> as well. No, it'll be payback for JC fucking dragging Camellia's name through the fucking mud. No. I'm Camellia and I like the smell of my what? hooves. What? <laughs> 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 Camellia. Remember, you got that jump. Just remember, remember mm. you got that jump if you need to use it. Mm -hmm. fucking, <laughs> fucking hoof his ass. Poo-poo, <laughs> <laughs> Tayani. Poo-poo, <laughs> 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 <Pupu> Piani. <laughs> uh, I'm Camellia, and my hair is full of bugs. <laughs> no, it's not. I knew it was going to bring chaos as soon as I mixed the, the names. Yeah. I called myself <laughs> Biff. <Yeah. laughs> I Subtle knew it. sowing of seeds of chaos. It's so awkward when a dude asks me my name. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about Sarah, because she's just like, oh, chaos? Bitch, bring it. I got that brigante <laughs> chaos. Do you want better? That's a good one. For like a second, I, I was just like, I wanted to do a religion check on that. <laughs> Once they came back and told us, yeah, so apparently you have to be a good person to have a child. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Unless so you it's get a, a child, cult. Unless you get a child through the alternate evil means, of course. I don't know what that was suggesting, whether there's just a black market for babies or I was just thinking adoption <laughs> oh no oh no it's not oh I'm so mad the song I wrote for this fucking town didn't work I don't know why that's such poop that's such puto yeah it said something <laughs> it's so puto by yeah. uh <laughs> it said something like the uploader had didn't allow it for sharing yeah. or something it but works. I was like, you're the uploader. It works on the screen share. Me. Poop, 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 poop. Wouldn't be a regional thing, would it? I love the part where um, Ludo was treating Camellia like a kid. It's like, like, the police, this little kid doesn't understand. Tarquin, will you please explain it? And then Camellia's like, oh. <laughs> and he's like, Camellia, these mortals that <laughs> understood that automatons can be uh, used for greater things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of them in the capital, capital areas of, uh, capitalism areas of the, uh, fucking extravagance courts. Do our work for us while we stand here and look fabulous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the fact that you and Danny are both from the same court raises a lot of questions, I think. This that makes sense. What are you talking about? Such different. <laughs> what are you talking about? What? Well, well, because Camellia isn't. Camellia's great. And Cam... Oh, this is. I'm digging. Um, Camellia's <laughs> great and Camellia's pretty, but like. Extravagant? Hmm. I mean, the bugs are very colorful. Secret. They are. Secrets. Oh, I don't. Everybody got secrets. Everybody got all these secrets all the time. Says you. I'm just gonna say that to anyone that's like, why has everyone got so many secrets? I'm like, says you. You and your secrets. Ludo gonna secret of the missing keyboard. Esimek <laughs> finds out all of the secrets. I don't know. Only for you, baby. <laughs> Taste it. <laughs> I'm going to say baby girl, but my brain just died off my brain. <laughs> this was already so stupid. I want Essamic to be like, I will kill all the ones who call you Poopo. Like, yes. <laughs> I can only do one of two things. I can either grant you eternal life, <laughs> or I can 
<laughs> rid the, the world of those who would call you Pupo. <laughs> but if they've gone to other realms, then there's nothing I can do. Uh, would us make spoiler player a story for someone? If they were not going with their commands, then yeah, absolutely. It's like the first on the punishment scale. And then again, he would eventually give you your wish. Hooray! Just not in a not in a good way. I love it. <laughs> you can't. Is it technically eternal life if everyone else on the planet is dead? Yes, I guess so. I guess it makes you have a different voice then. <laughs> Would you like me to grant your wish? <laughs> ah. Yes. Free and wish master. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. I was like, what would be the other side of it? Just wish master. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wish I lived forever. And he's like, bet. Get in this coffin. You will live forever now. In this coffin. And everyone's like, no. He was like, you didn't check the paperwork, motherfucker. <laughs> Great times. Now you have to live for all time and watch Umberlai die before your eyes. Enjoy. Uh, don't spoil his plan. It's going to be something like, you get to live forever so you can be with Umberlai forever. But Umberlai... Like... It's a does worm. It... <laughs> <laughs> Does it like horror movies? I don't know, something like that. <laughs> oh my god, not the classic horror movies of Isafrey. What are the? I don't know. Like, what are some so. like yellow flags that are bad enough that are almost worse than red flags? Umberlie skips the cutscenes. No. <gasps> Can you imagine. The, and, <laughs> and the big text as well. Oh. It's like, but that's for all the good. What's the, oh god, what is like the yellowest flag? <laughs> <laughs> it's basically just the reddest flag in disguise. It's like, it's not that bad. It's like, no, it's actually kind of the worst. <laughs> oh, I'm sure Ludo will show us at some point. That was mean, I'm sorry. I couldn't even finish the sentence. I was just like, that was mean. I was so sorry. Um, but yeah, Megalyn is dead. Kinray still missing. Oh, no. Leaves the milk on the counter unopened, like 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 Ugh. open. Gross. Uh, execution. <laughs> <laughs> As someone who lived in a house of people who accidentally left a raw chicken out in the kitchen for three days during the middle of summer. Ugh. And no one would own up to it. So I was like, fine, I'll put it in the fucking bin. And then I vomited everywhere. And then a couple of my friends came in and they were like, we're really sorry. We think that was our chicken and we didn't know. I was like, that's okay. I will give my revenge. <laughs> <laughs> so off milk? No. It's, I know what it is. Because it happens to me all the fucking time. What? Is people, mm -hmm. is people, you, you already know, Dime. Mm -hmm. Is people that leave like four drops in the bottom of a drink she <laughs> will. container. She will forever put the juice back in the fridge with only a sip in it. That's the make I take it all back. <laughs> it's the worst. We were thinking the exact same shit. <sighs> I did one time, I'm not going to lie, I did one time rinse it out with water, but then leave the water in there. So it was just like slightly <laughs> milky water. And I was like, enjoy your fucking glass of milk, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what am I going to do with this? What am I going to do with this four drops? Lazy ass couldn't just open another milk? Get, get the fuck out. Luto, darling, do you, do you want a drink? <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, thank you. She brings a drink <laughs> and her fingers in the cup. Oh, <laughs> I can forgive that more so, but still very icky yellow flag for real. Ugh. Why? Bro. But milk, not not leaving any milk in a in a tea drinking household. Guillotine. Yeah. Guillotine, and it, I could go down now to go and get a nice cup of like ice icy cocoa. 
because it's hot as balls. And you know what? There might just be like four drops of milk. And I'll be like, you know what? Life isn't worth living for this. Um, we'll have to do something about this. <laughs> she calls um, it Parmesan cheese. Ugh. What? <laughs> I don't know. So I'm, I'm just trying to think of other like yellow flags. I kind of like that though. <laughs> Parmesan. She would. She would. Parmesan. Because well, my friend <laughs> used to not be able to say spaghetti, so she'd say biscotti, and now I always <laughs> think of as like. Biscotti with some Parmesan oh, cheese. Oh, I love Piscetti. Piscetti is strong. I knew a lot of people who said that shit. Yeah, she's like Piscetti. I was going to say, as a cook, she tends to like one ingredient, but not the other. <laughs> so like you're going to make you're going to do a, a picnic and everything like that. And you go to make the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but there's no peanut butter. You go to have a <laughs> bowl of cereal in the morning, but there's no milk. Mm. Ham, no burger. Darling, I know you're off to go make some uh, dinner, but please, no garlic, okay? Uh, uh. Oh, that's a red flag. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> V2 Dasher asks, who is the arsonist of this D&D game? Uh, me, lol. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, one of us either? was a criminal. Uh, but, but... <laughs> no... <laughs> one could, but one could argue that the sentencing of the crimes was worse than the crime itself. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, who did? Who's done the most arson specifically? You. Well, other than yeah. me. Um. <laughs> Ludo's Sorry, got great fire obviously. control. He's a he's a trained chef. He's not burn things unintentionally. I don't think there's. I believe been... the sausages were uncooked. <gasps> yeah, next would be Umberly because she's burnt the carrots before. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are not here for ease and deficiency, V two. We are a game of enabling and chaos. <laughs> yeah. But welcome. Feel free to check out the YouTube collection because we're about to end unfortunately but it is cool to meet you and yeah check out what is it like episode six if you like arson because like everyone is set on fire dm was there something oh. i could have learned from uh york and vic your 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 vin vic your vic um that's a good question if your mind is open to the world around you, you can learn whatever you put your heart to. Okay. Solid. Solid answer. <laughs> I love it. One to grow on. <laughs> You're so welcome. You are so welcome. Look, man, you, you made a joke about mind melding and discovered deep Tarquin lore. I think I think you're good for today. I would have loved to so see well. like Darian's face just through all that. Just like Stop, 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 dude, stop. <laughs> Actually, I was like, good, good. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. <laughs> Look, man, y'all got some interesting secrets, I'm just saying. Yeah, look, you know, you accept me and my many eyed elder oh. god, and uh, oh, I too. accept you and your, <laughs> you know, weird homunculus past. <laughs> If you don't love me at my poopo, you don't, love me. <laughs> you don't deserve me at, at my infiltrating your mind and finding chef. out your deepest inner securities and <laughs> memories of ever. Oh, my God. <laughs> Incredible. But yes, let us, uh, we'll keep you updated as to whether there is a mini Q&A session or lore discussion or some such next week but if not love you guys love you guys so much and you know it could be more interesting because the friend i'm meeting up with she's the original text adventure person so <gasps> i'll be like hey do you want to fuck with these guys <laughs> <laughs> um and you can check out the whole collection on youtube Thank you as well to Scorpio for putting all the links and stuff there. Um, keep your eyes peeled for the special 
turkey turkey sevens i'm just gonna call them the turkey sevens if you know you know if you don't it still sounds cool maybe uh <laughs> and um you guys are really awesome and cool and amazing and we love you lots and um yeah any any parting wisdom from the team after today's session for all of your 200 years umberlai will never learn how to boil water no <laughs> yes uh do do arson but only in D. &D. thumbs up <laughs> good and if the dm gets mad swap dms <laughs> No. <laughs> Adhere to your DM. Be nice to your Uki, DM. Okay, let us do it. <laughs> yeah, but Key's a fucking pyromaniac. <laughs> <laughs> what did I learn today? I learned uh I confirmed what I already knew in real life, which is it's always, always, always the kid's fault. Oh my god, your the kid is always the the kid is always to blame. And one day, maybe I'll forgive my daughter, but you know, that day is not today, and that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Camelia, wow. Tarquin, what did y'all learn today? Well, books are evil. True. Yeah, burn mm -hmm. books. <laughs> in DD, mm. only. Yes, and that little towns in the middle of a forest always. Our trouble. What? Yeah. Ultimately, yeah. Hi, I'm Key. I'm from a little town. Not in the <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And you're trouble. <laughs> yeah, are you not trouble? Or... I was from a little hamlet in the forest, but then I set it on fire. <laughs> now I live somewhere else <laughs> because it was all on fire. <laughs> um, but yes, thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you for being ever so wonderful. We love you so much. If you're watching this on YouTube, tell me your favorite fruit. And it is not allowed to be green. <gasps> the person who likes green grapes, you are very disappointed right now, and that's okay. But you can comment me calling you out like that. My well, game technically, a grape is a... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> 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 Goodbye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Later. Bye. Uh -huh. <laughs>